You so rarely see a motherfucker on the couch with a blanket up to his chin and a, a blue bag of ice on his head and a glass thermometer hanging out of his mouth. Because of woke. You just don't see it that often anymore. I've never seen one of those blue bags of ice, bro. Or is it a, I don't know if it's a hot water bottle. I don't know what you're supposed to do when you have a fever. Because when you have a fever, you need to cool yourself down, but you also get chills. So even when it's like 20 Celsius outside, you're like, I'm freaking freezing. Icy hot, icy hot. You got to get the fever higher to kill the virus faster. You ever realize how washed viruses are? Please, God, don't let me die to a virus in like the next 12 months. I would preferably not like to die to a virus in like the next 50 years if possible, but like the next, the statute of limitations on this being comedic timing is like 12 months. Viruses are like, there's nothing you could fucking do to stop us, bro. We're proliferating throughout our body. We're hijacking your own cells to make copies of ourselves. We are legion. And then the body's like, oh, you like it in here at 97 degrees Fahrenheit? Guess what, bitch? 101 degrees Fahrenheit. And they're like, no! Four degrees. That's all it takes, man. That's crazy. They're so weak. Literally get cooked. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose. It is kind of crazy that the most reliable way to take your temperature is to put a thermometer up your ass. Like, what were they cooking when they made that is it though it is if you ever like check your kid's temperature via their armpit or something like that and then you uh google like hey what fever temperature is like too high for a three-year-old they're like rectal temperature 101.8 means you should go to the hospital right now and i'm like damn bro we still, we got people using glass rectal thermometers in 2024. It might even be the best way, but I, I just don't see myself doing it. I just don't see it happening. I miss the color change strip you just held onto your forehead. I've never seen those. To, with God as my witness, I've never seen them. Those were pog. But do you ever feel like... I know I've been saying this a lot. I'm genuinely not like a return to trad guy at all. I like many of the conveniences of, of modern life. But I do sort of feel like human innovation kind of peaked in like 1940. And then every subsequent attempt to innovate on those innovations has made it worse. Not all of them. Like there's obviously some incredible uh, advances in medicine. But I definitely feel like when fucking Mozart invented a glass thermometer in 1671... Do you think he knew that there were never going to be better thermometers than that? What do you mean? Well, I feel like it's the thermometers that we had when I was a kid, it didn't require batteries. You literally just put that fucker in your mouth, wash it first because you don't know where it was, uh, and then you wait like 40 seconds and then you look at it and physics tells you your temperature. 
And nowadays, I've got like one of them is like uh, it's one of those like forehead thermometers that I don't understand. I don't I don't believe that it works. And then another one is like a floppy like metal sensor, and I'm like maybe maybe it works. I don't know. Now that I think about it, though, when you go to the hospital and they take your temperature, they do put an, an electronic sensor under your tongue. So maybe they know what they're doing. It's been suggested that they don't by other streamers on this platform, such as myself from time to time. <laughs> well, that's not true. No, 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 that's not true. I've always given the nurses respect. They know what they're doing. It's the doctors who are very dismissive of the patients sometimes. I've always gotten great care from nurses. The doctors is like 50-50. Some great? Don't get me wrong. M doctor can confirm I'm very dismissive sometimes. Listen, I get it. I'm very dismissive of my patients in chat, I understand. I didn't go through 23 grades for some schmo to tell me they know better. I can understand that. Which it, it feeds into my overall thesis that we need dumber doctors. Because dumber doctors would be more likely to trust their dumb patients, like myself. And that would probably lead to better care. Source, work cited, crackpipe.jpg. What was I talking about? Hang on, I got a burp. I think we're going to start with a difficult game about climbing today. Maybe we'll play something else after that. At 1 p.m., we have a sponsored stream. You're not going to believe it to play Final Fantasy VII Rebirth exclusively on the PlayStation 5 console. My wife is going to join, join me. The thrust of the promotion is much like the unique party system that enables synergies in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. What if you partnered a Final Fantasy expert my wife with a Final Fantasy neophyte, myself, except there's one little wrinkle. Final Fantasy VII is basically the only Final Fantasy I know uh, everything about. Ask me anything about Final Fantasy VII. I'm like Cloud Strife, bro. I got all the training. I spent my time at the Soldier Academy. Maybe my memory is a little fuzzy. When did it come out? 1997 in North America. Next question. How did you get Yuffie in Final Fantasy VII OG? You were driving Sid's airship over some mountains, and then you get ambushed by her, and you're like, whoa, who's this freaking lady? And then all of a sudden, she's like, bye, and then you check your inventory, and you're like, she took my best materia, bro. What the hell? He's half right. I played Final Fantasy VII, okay? It's been a long time. I played it two or three times. She, my wife left me. She took the dang materia. Are you an heiress or a Tifa guy? I'm being straight up with you. I've always been a Tifa guy. Can I be honest with you? I've, even as a, as a young lad, I was always more compelled by like uh, bossy girls. I think because I have no spine myself, I really, I, I have some magnetic sort of compulsion for that like Kirsten Dunst, like he said no onions on the burger. Eris was always kind of like too much like, oh, well, if that's what you want to do. No, no, no. I pick last night. You pick tonight. That's not, it, it's just not copacetic for me. Hmm. 
you know, when I started living with Kate, I didn't like tomatoes. She said, why don't you eat your tomatoes? I said, I don't like them. She said, they're good for you. I said, sorry, I'm a man going my own way. I don't like them. She said, if you don't eat them, you'll probably have a heart attack and die. I said, you know what? I'm going to start eating these. And now, 10 years later, I love chowing down on a tomato, quite frankly. <laughs> she was right. Have you had a heart attack, though? I don't think so, but there's like no way to know, right? Is it possible that I've had one and then just like um, kind of like white knuckled it? No, I thought there like aren't there rare stories of people that like go into the hospital and they're like, I don't feel good. And then the doctor is like, did you know that you've had six heart attacks? Yes, but not you. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm weak. I'm weak. I'm a little worm. Oh, you can't hear the water. Slash marker. A difficult game about climbing. There you go. I have a bone to pick with people that keep calling games like this streamer bait, okay? Now, I understand the idea that they're streamer bait in the sense that um, streamers like to play them, for sure. And they do very well on stream. However, I think that it's a derisive term that indicates that it's like a bad game that's funny because it's bad. I disagree with this. I don't mean to be like overly... Uh, like pseudo intellectual about this, but I look at games like this, getting over it, Alt F4, etc., yeah. etc. Cetera, et cetera. These for me are modern addictinggames.com flash games that you would play in computer class in the ninth grade when your teacher got hired to teach computers in like 1970, and now in 2002 he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing, so he's like just sit at the computer for 72 minutes figure it out. I see these as being like the, the modern flash games. I do. And I, I, I don't know, I always, gamers are so funny, man. Not individually, as we've proven on this website over the last 10 years, but like en masse, what makes this less of a quote unquote real game than Baldur's Gate 3 or something like that? I, I just, I sort of don't get it. I, I'm not just being like needlessly obfuscating, but I'm like, why, why is this less of a game than Baldur's Gate? Effort? Yeah, but there's like a lot of horrible games out there that were required Herculean effort to make. They were just cooked from the conceptual phase. <laughs> Bro was like, I'm not going to use Game Maker. I'm going to make my own engine, you know? And then it takes 10 years to come out and the industry has shifted since then. Like it happens all the time. We swing, swing, Chibli, you mad genius. Okay, well, we go again. Actually comparing this piece of S to Baldur's Gate 3, uh, that's what's called an ad hominem attack, which actually reveals the weakness of your argument. We go again. That's not an ad hominem. It's uh, it was well, an ad gamenum. It's an ad gamenum. I guess homonym or does homonym mean word or something? I don't know Latin because I'm was not born in 1988 BC. Watching a librarian video, he's at the same spot. Um, you don't understand. This is my commute. 
You wake up, you eat breakfast, you get in your car, you drive to work, you come home, you park your car in the same garage from whence you left that day. And then you get the privilege of doing it again tomorrow morning as well. And maybe every morning for the next 40 years or something like that. It is rarer to, uh, in a day or two days, to find yourself in a different place from where you were at yesterday. That is the outlier. That was close. That was close. How'd the customer service call go? Thank you for reminding me. Um, <clears throat> you know what I realized is that I don't use the customer service line too much these days. I didn't realize that in the last like five, 10 years, companies did everything they could to not have to talk to their customers. Like you Google like airline helpline, and then instead of getting a phone number that allows you to talk to a real person, they, they put you in like a walled garden where there's only a, a database of like FAQs and stuff like that. And if you don't find like your solution in the FAQs, they're like, here, call this number. And then when you call the number, they only give you like X number of possible options. And sometimes the options don't apply. And you're like, is, can I just hit zero and talk to a human being? And the answer is no. No, you cannot. But so long story short, we booked our flights through Expedia. So first I called the airline and eventually... Uh, a robot was like, because you booked through a third party, you got to talk to the third party. So I called the third party, um, put in all of my data, the invoice number, the four digits of the credit card that were used to book it, uh, you know, the email address associated, associated with the account, got to talk to somebody, and then uh, she was like, you know, this was 10, 15 minutes into the call, she was like, oh, because you actually booked through, like, your bank or something like that, we have to transfer you to, like, a different department. And then I was like, sure, no problem, until I had to go through the phone menu again and re-enter all of the data again. But then finally, uh, I got to talk to another real human being where I repeated myself. That was just not that. I was going sideways instead of up. Uh, and she said, I'm sorry that happened to you. And I said, that's, it's not your fault. It's okay. And she said, okay, I'm looking into this for you. Just a minute. Uh, and then she put me on hold. And uh, three minutes later, they hung up on me. And then I assumed that it was by accident and they would call me back. And uh, they still have not to this day. So, well, to this morning, I suppose. Rip me. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. The, all we're trying to get uh, a refund for is no disrespect to WestJet, but my wife paid for us to pick our seats because it's kind of important for us to sit with our three-year-old child on the airplane. And then WestJet on all four of our flights was like, surprise, even though you paid for... Uh, your seats, we've just shuffled you all around the plane. So we manually had to like talk to people and be like, hey, do you want to, hey, do you want to sit next to a strange toddler or like possibly we could trade seats and you could like sit by yourself and not be harangued for the entirety of the flight? And they were like, yeah, sure, that, sound, that sounds great actually. So we're, we're really only trying to get like the 50 bucks back for like each of the flights. Why would they do this? Listen, I'm not suggesting... Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm not suggesting the airline business is easy. But they kept telling us, like, we had to change your seats because we have a tail swap. And I'm like, you are not speaking English to me. I don't work in the aviation industry. What the fuck is a tail swap? Just tell me you, you had to change planes. But then also, I'm like... I, like, as much as it sounds, like, maybe entitled... I really don't care about WestJet's problems. Like, seat me next to my daughter. 
especially because we paid for it. And <laughs> if we didn't pay for it and I like went to argue at the counter and was like, please sit me next to my daughter, like I would understand that that's a little entitled, even though that's the way like it should probably be in like a perfect world. But like we fucking paid for it. And they're like, sorry, we changed airplanes. Brother, your whole airline only flies 737s. Why does a tail swap matter? It doesn't make any sense. It's not like you, you took us off a 737 and put us on like a, a DC-20 or something like that. Like you, you literally only have the same airplane in your entire fleet. No! Because the 737-800 is very different than a 737-200. That's true, the 737-200s, the wheels stay on during landing. <laughs> but also, again, like, I'm sorry to say, but like, it's not my problem that you, your airplane didn't get, I guess it is my problem, unfortunately, but it shouldn't be my problem that you couldn't get the airplane to the gate or something. Did you fly Boeing? Yes, I live in North America. We don't have choices. Okay, climb me up a little bit. Climb me, climb me up a little bit. Climb me up a little bit. Woo, not good, not good. Come back, come back. That was just embarrassing. If it's Boeing, I'm not going. Well, I'm just going to be honest with you. You're going to be staying at home then. And if that's like what you're going to do, that's fine. But I've been seeing all these tweets that are like, you won't catch me on a Boeing flight. And I'm like, brother, then you're not going anywhere. I'm, you, the thing that strikes me is your ass probably wasn't going anywhere to begin with. So like, why are you putting on airs that like you're you're a world traveler and now you're like exclusively selecting Airbus? Airbus is an option. I feel like I've flown on an Airbus like three times in my entire life, and it was all flights to Europe. And those planes were fucking sick, man. <laughs> those planes were. I remember I, I flew economy, Lufthansa to Frankfurt. The bathroom in the economy section was down a staircase that then had like four lavatories and there was like a self-serve pretzel snack bar, like a bowl with the wrapped pretzels in it. And I was like, this is the nicest airplane I've ever been on in my entire life. Bro, what? I know. I was like, this is what it, this is what it could be like. Okay, one second. I'm being called. Apparitions. <laughs> I 100% heard, thought I heard, I should say. My wife opened the sliding door and then say, Ryan, come here, I need you. I went upstairs and said, yeah, what's up? She said, what? I said, didn't you call me? She said, nope. I said, all right. We are haunted. <laughs> You're gassed? Yeah, I think my blood's like really thick right now or something. I don't really know what happens to you physiologically when you're sick. 
but my, my VO2 max is diminished for sure. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We go like this. We go like this. Close, 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 close. You sound and look okay. I know and I'm grateful for it, but I am like, I feel bad, brother. <laughs> I do not feel good. <laughs> You look kind of effed. Yeah, no, I was looking into the mirror. One of my eyes is like really red. But we're chilling. We're swagged up. It's no big deal. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. Come on. Whoop. Yeah. It's kind of what happens when you visit Florida. Some truth to that, for sure. Yeah. Day one of the cruise, everyone's chilling. Yeah. By the time you get to day five, day six, yeah. I would say about half of the people that are around you are just going like this all the time. <laughs> And you're like, there it is. That's the sound I missed. I think I'm, I'm not, I don't have a secure handhold. It's like aiming with controller. Nudge, we're nudging. Secure, secure. Were people masking on the cruise? Who's gonna tell them? <laughs> no, not a not a single person was masked on the cruise. There were probably like two on the airplane that were masked. And I was like, you know, you got to play to your own level of comfort. But I was like, hmm, I don't think you'd catch me doing that. But, you know, more power to you. And then wouldn't you know it, my ass got fucking sick. <laughs> of course, I should have. I, I thought I was I thought I was bigger than biology. It was like you wouldn't catch my strong ass wearing a mask. I've got a great immune system. Two days later, I'm out, out here like. Looking at myself in the mirror. You don't look so good. Not even close. Not even close. <clears throat> if you drink ice water, it slows down the sickness. My mom told me that. Hang on. Write that one down, guys. Write that one down. I did gargle with salt water. But like salt water is like fucked up because the salt takes itself like down to the bottom of the glass. So at first I just gargled with like four mouthfuls of like lukewarm water. And then at the end it was like a hyper concentrated like salt pack at the bottom. I did not like do it dignified too. You didn't stir it? I didn't want to get a spoon dirty. I took the glass and I went like this. Yep. Oh, brother. <laughs> I also used uh, kosher salts. Is that like too dense to, to properly mix? Is it immiscible? Oh, no. <laughs> salt is salt? Yeah, but they're like, the, the flakes are larger. 
You need to use pink Himalayan salt. That was embarrassing. We do have some Icelandic volcanic salt that we bought at the Reykjavik airport. Maybe that... Dude, this is the stuff that the Vikings were using to get over their sore throats. Back before they went to the all thing. Dipped in malicious chili oil. He basically just drank warm water and ate salt. Yeah, but it worked for like a couple minutes. Okay. You go like this, you release earlier. The better, 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 better. She is not pleased. Has he made it past this jump? I've made it past this jump like six times, okay? Why is she upset? First off, it's none of your business. Secondly, she doesn't want to go to daycare because grandma and grandpa are here. You're going to be like, why not let her just stay home with grandma and grandpa? First off, we're paying for the daycare. Secondly... My wife's going to a girls' night out tonight, so I need grandma and grandpa to be well-rested and fresh. Because <laughs> they're going to be doing some domestic labor for me later, depending on my level of consciousness, after I have some recall of throat lozenges. Nope, nope, nope. Bad, bad, bad. I thought you guys had no friends. Yeah, we're actually like integrated into the community a little bit now, believe it or not. Is ulting. <laughs> Sounds like chat watching Balatro. So true. You know what? I've deluded myself into thinking that we have 50 50 division of child labor <laughs> for raising. <laughs> because, like, I pick her up from daycare and Kate drops her off, but the drop off is way worse. The pickup, she's like, Daddy, I love you. She comes, like, hopping out to me, it gives me a hug. Of course, of course.
Well, well, well. This morning, don't come play with me, daddy. Don't come play with me. I don't like you. I said, you don't like me? Why would you say something like that? It hurts daddy's feelings. She said, okay, mm, I like you one day a week. I said, that's pretty bad, honestly. And then she said, or I said, why do you say you don't like daddy? And she said, you make me do not nice things. I said, like what? She said, like, go to daycare. And I don't like to go to this class. And I was like, you don't have to worry about that. That class is over now. You don't have to go to that class. Then all of a sudden, when it's time to go to daycare, where, where, daddy, daddy, come give me a hug. You play the long game, you always win. Well, well, well. Oppie, did you or did you not say, don't play with me this morning? <laughs> Pardon me. Sorry. Huge, huge. We just needed a refresh. No, I didn't hit her with the well, well, well. It's the... Problem with being a parent, you don't get to be the one. Well, I guess you parents are probably the number one demographic that says I told you so, but like not with the toddler. You got to just be like, oh my gosh, honey, what's wrong? <clears throat> you don't want to go to like a cool building and do arts and crafts with your friends all day? I understand that. That makes perfect sense. She'll see these clips in 15 years and feel owned. No, she'll probably be like, well, I didn't ask to be born. And like, it's kind of hard to counter that one. Because it's definitely true. It's like, that, that's kind of like, you can't really compete with that one. She's like, I didn't really have any agency whether or not I came into the world. So it's kind of your responsibility to make sure that I'm okay. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> She's right. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Did you hear about the kid who sued his parents for birthing him and he won? <laughs> really? <laughs> that's, that's crazy. Oh, not good, not good. Kind of based. It seems like a, a really strange precedent to put into law, but I don't know the specifics of the case. It's a unique case. There's got to be more to it. Oh, it's for troubling reasons. Okay, well, never mind then. You, you phrased it like it was like a movie starring like uh, Timothy Chalamet or something like that. Like it was a, a, a nice little cute sort of quirky cult classic comedy. And instead it's actually like uh, a best picture nominee. He's on our game. No. I let go too late. I let go too late. So I do have to say, my parents have been talking to me about movies, okay? They said, have you seen poor things? I said, I haven't seen it yet. But I want to. It's on my list. It's on Disney Plus Canada now, too. I just found out last night seeing an ad on the television. They both loved it. They said eight and a half to nine out of ten. I said I've also been trying to see Oppenheimer. I got a scathing criticism on Oppenheimer from my dad. He said three and a half out of ten. I'm not trying to light him up. I haven't seen the movie myself. I trust him. But I was like, man, it just... <laughs> just won like 11 Oscars. Dude, dude's coming at the king. That's why you got to respect it. Why? He said it was too long. Hmm? Ba 
Geist. <lacht> Zoomer. <lacht> Okay, here, here, here. Ready? Well, you know how it is. Like, when you see a movie, you decide how much you like it out of 10, and then you basically build reasons around that afterwards. You don't go like, oh, on the one hand, I like this, this, and this. Or I didn't like this, this, and this. I look at that, and that looks like a four to me. You go, ah, oh, that was about a three and a half out of 10, and then you go, here's my reasons why. It's just vibes. Yeah, exactly. I thought I'd lost confidence, but no. Okay, now focus. Poor Things is a negative two. People have very strong opinions about this movie. I feel like there's 0% chance that I won't like it. Because I like every other Yorgos Lanthimos film I've ever seen. And uh, I like Emma Stone and I like Mark Ruffalo. Willem Dafoe's in it too. I love that for him. I do, I like Willem Dafoe. His best movie, I'd have to say probably John Wick, but what'd you think of The Lobster? Top 250 movie of all time, without a doubt. What's 251? I'd have to say probably crank too high voltage. How do you feel about 12 Angry Men? Oh, what? You mean uh, a podcast? <laughs> oh, man. Help me. Help me. This is a, a pseudo checkpoint. Just relax. That would kill in Limmy's chat. Dude, someone in here, I was talking about Limmy, and they said Limmy is like a, an entitled, they didn't use this word. Let's, let's PG-13 it. They said he's a pompous, entitled brat. I don't know if that's true, but can I say something? He's entitled to be pompous. He's funnier than you. He's earned it. That's a plus, like, I don't know what you want me to say. He, he might not even be pompous to begin with. But if he is, if he's entitled, I'm sure if you're, like, one of the top 100 funniest people on the planet and you got to read Twitch chat all day, you're probably like, this is killing my brain. I probably wouldn't be in a great mood either. Luckily, I'm not that funny. So when I see stuff in the chat, I'm like, whoa, that's pretty funny. <laughs> but I like, you know, I don't, maybe it's not fair. I like when artists act better than the people that consume their art. I don't care if fucking Yorgos Lanthimos is down to earth. I don't care if he still makes Coca-Cola in the same way for, you know, 97 years. I mean, the bro has like a, a brain that's one of a kind. He should be weird. He should act above it all to some extent. 
You're really going to go up and you're going to be... Pit- Yorgos Lanthimos walked away from an interview after he was asked whether he'd rather fight a hundred duck-sized horses or one horse-sized duck. Yeah, fucking get out of here, bro. Don't waste your time with that, okay? If you're not going to ask him, like, a, a real question befitting of his character, then, you know, get thee to a nunnery, bro. Now me, I got to think about it. Probably a hundred duck-sized horses. But a hundred is like, it is a lot, don't get me wrong. LeBron James caught dying the pinwheel? No. Thank God. Draymond Green thumbnail on youtube.jpg how is he so ass horse sized duck is basically an ostrich horse sized duck is basically a dinosaur I mean I don't want to get bitten by a horse sized duck I feel like a, a, a horse sized horse obviously it, it's gonna have a lot of kicking power but um it's not going to bite me, probably. Its mouth is not designed for that. But a, a beak is a much more efficient biting tool, I think. Plus, horses can't fly. True, although maybe you've never heard of Pegasus. Allegedly. Um, also, I was about to say that uh, ducks don't fly either. And then I thought about it for a split second and said, pretty sure that they actually do. They might be one of the one of the most common birds you see in flight. Hello Cory by the way. Hello. Cory, did you beat this? Don't answer that. most common probably crow I think it depends where you live um, I do see a lot of crows I can't argue with the crows I see a lot of gulls I don't know if they're seagulls or, or wrens or something like that it's, there are pigeons but it, I wouldn't say that I live in a particularly pigeon rich part of uh, the world like it's not New York City here sparrows I don't even know if, if sparrows fuck with the West Coast, honestly. Maybe I'm insane. Robins? Not, not too many robins here either. Geese? Lots of geese. Me. <clears throat> I saw Vancouver in the news recently for some giant mega housing complex that's getting built. You must have us confused with another city. <laughs> that must be Vancouver, Washington. <laughs> no, I don't know. No, I, I bet you did. That makes sense. There's been like new zoning here. So now you can build... Uh, you don't need like a special permit to build multiplexes on residential lots or something. They're doing something, just in time. New moon record. Oh, it's the... I know what you're talking about. The... the um, it's like the Squamish housing... I don't know enough about the city of Vancouver, to be honest with you. That's the one. Is it the one that's that's around the bridges? It's like under the Canby Bridge or something, or under the Granville Bridge, or under the Burrard Bridge?
the south side of the Burrard Bridge. It's a nice area of town, honestly. South side of the Burrard Bridge. That's where like the um, McLaren dealership is. That's where Les Amis du Fromage is. Bro, you're, they're going to have such good access to French cheeses. That's where Jam Cafe's first location is, I think. Are you making these places up? No, we got real stores here. It's not all Boston pizza. There are a lot of cactus clubs. Okay, chill. Bit by terrible bit. I totally believe I can stretch. Otherwise, you could fall from the upper rock. I know what to do. Slide over. Move over, little dog, because a big old dog's coming in. Hey, by the way, librarian, I got a bid for you, okay? Did you see the TikTok that is like dramatic music, and it's a clip from Ted, where Mark Wahlberg is sitting alone on the couch, and then Ted says, holy crap! And then Mark Wahlberg like rushes in like something incredibly bad just happened. And he goes, what, whoa, what's wrong? And then Ted goes, I got on the internet for the first time. There's so many, or there's so much, and I think that it's supposed to be, he says, pornography on here. But instead, it's um, breeding announcements for Bully XL Pitbulls. Mewtwo X Elsa. Frankenjar's Thriller. Did you see that one? The banning of TikTok is going to set comedy back so far. We're actually, we pulled forward so much growth in comedy as a result of this app. You don't understand. We've gone from like rap parodies of music to that abstract stuff in like 12 years or something like that. We can't go back, man. We can't go back to season nine of The Office. We will not be going to Instagram Reels. TikTok minus Americans might go hard. But that lady who built the mine in her house, she's American, right? Won't somebody think of her? She wouldn't have gotten caught without TikTok. Some truth to that, but you know what? We wouldn't... Oh, no, 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 no. Hold, hold. 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 Okay, we're chilling. I think you're right. It's better to have known about the tunnel and lost it than to have never tunneled at all. And being a streamer is so easy. You just wait for someone to say f something funny in chat and then you repeat it and everybody laughs and they're like, that's so funny. But what's fucked up is that even the person who wrote it the first time is like, yes, they read my comment and people liked it. It's like such a fucked up, like, parasitic relationship. If, like, the way I'm feeling today, if I worked in essentially any other job on planet Earth, I think I'd be fucked. I wouldn't be able to do it.
But I'm like, I'm just barely not at the top of my game today. Pay chatters, pay... Oh no, the chatters are going to unionize. This is not going to be funny when this movement gains actual momentum in like 2028. But honestly, like, if they ever make paid chatting a job, I might just stop the whole streaming thing and then move on to chatting. I think I could be an even better chatter than streamer. Hold. I can't. No glancing. You wouldn't survive a day. <laughs> You don't know what it's like to write what you think is a 10 out of 10 joke and then the streamer doesn't read it and then you write it again and then the streamer is like, yeah, I saw it the first time. Ooh. Let go of the space bar. Let go of the space bar. Let go of the space bar. Now, don't get scared. Don't get scared. They're going to try to scare you with this sign. Or they're, maybe they're not. Maybe they're not going to scare us with the sign. You eating any pie today? Why am I, like, threatened by this question? I'm not eating any pie today. I, I would say I eat a piece of pie less than once per annum. Tragic. I, I kind of like pie. It's just, I don't know. I don't come across it all that often here. Meat pies maybe at a British pub. But like lately I've been on my, my fish and chips game. Oh, we're pogging. We're not pogging. Go. No, no. Oh, oh, it's good. Maybe it's good. Maybe it's okay. I thought we were going to have to go the, the opposite direction. Okay, I see. I see the problem. This part's all jumping. Good thing I practiced so much. Hello. Oh, thank you. Oh. New, area. New area. Red holes. Danny from the Shining Voice. Red holes. How are you feeling? I'm sorry, but I am going to put a cough drop in my mouth. No! It's okay, it just fell in my pants. No, these are khakis! <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. It's so weird being a 35-year-old man. My mom is in town, my dad's in town too. They were like, we're sorry you're sick. Do you need anything from the drugstore? And I'm like, I forgot. Like, I can ask people for something. Like, I forgot. Like, that's my mom, bro. I, she said, you want some lozenges? I said, yeah, and if you're not too busy, some soup would be nice. That's not exactly the way that the conversation went down. <laughs> Here's
just nice to be taken care of when you need it, though. When I'm feeling well, I'm like, no, how about I get you some soup? When I'm not feeling good, I'm like, oh my god, thank you so much. Prayer emoji. <laughs> Hands clasped together emoji. You have saved my life. Wow! Holy cow. Do it. Do it. Do it. Okay, we, we go again. We go again. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't fall victim to this. Guys, I'm in trouble. Hold, hold. No, 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 hold. Oh, we're in. Oh, no, no, no. That's fine. We're just going back. We're just. Oh, we almost didn't go back. Oh, man. Chib spent like three hours on that jump. Well, Chib didn't have Chib to teach him how to do the jump. So I have a, an unfair advantage. Can you not just go to the ceiling? No, the Grecian marble is too... It's too smooth. I asked my grandfather, who works in masonry, why don't we just make more Grecian marble? He said, we can't. We don't know how to anymore. This 97-year-old Greek mason still makes Ionic columns the old-fashioned way. I'm just asking an honest question. Why did we all learn about the three different types of columns. We all didn't? I mean, I did at my high school in rural Ontario. In history class, they were like, guess what? This is a Dorian pillar. This is an Ionian pillar. I don't even know. Corinthian, that's right. The last one's Corinthian. What kind of dirt does the, the column industry have on the education industry, man? Because it's historical? They're just columns. Like, I don't know what you want me to say. Like, when we learn about Alexander the Great, I'm like, that's, you know, pretty important. That informs the way that, like, the globe looks today. But, like, columns? Wow, it just doesn't seem that important to me, to be honest. One of these days. If you had some columns at your place, you'd feel differently. Yeah, well, unfortunately, I don't have the interior design sensibilities of Tony Montana, okay? Why not? Because my wife has taste. I don't have taste, but... She has taste. <laughs> At least you have his cocaine habits. It's so funny that there are people out there who think I do cocaine. I don't even know. Did you see that video of Conor McGregor? There were like 14-year-old kids from the Philippines that were like, this guy's obviously on coke. And I was like, how do you know that? I'm so out of the cocaine ecosystem, I don't even know what someone looks like when they're on cocaine. I thought he was just like really excited. Philippines mentioned. <laughs> I know Michael Kane. I know Coke Zero, true. What do you think someone on cocaine looks like? 
I mean, I guess I would expect them to be sniffing a lot and maybe licking their lips. But it's tough because that's also something you do when you're sick. What is it? This is a genuine question. Why, when you are sick and you wake up after sleeping, do you have weird Elmer's glue all over your lips? What is that? Is it mucus? Is it is it spit? Is it dried skin? Like wh what is it? It's just you? It's not just me. If this happens to you, press 1 in the chat, please. Thank you. There's dozens of us. If you're sick, or if I'm sick, and I go to bed, and I wake up eight hours later, I have, like, detritus on my lips. It's dehydration and mucus. It's real. Malkovich references it in Con Air. We take those. Drool because your nose is stuffy and you mouth breathe. That makes, that's a great explanation. I don't know if it's true, but it's a great explanation. Cyrus the virus, the authority on lip mucus. He's a smart guy. Ibuprofen is a better decongestant than actual decongestants. <coughs> I think Tylenol might have been the last great uh, pill that was ever invented. Tylenol actually goes insane. I don't, it was probably invented in like 1897. It helps a fever. It helps a headache. If you have one of them, you can enjoy your day. If you have two of them, you can't feel pain. If you have three of them, your liver will die and you will not wake up. That's how you know it's a medicine. If you'll excuse me. That's how you know it's a medicine that actually works. For cough medicine, they're like fucking just freeball it, man. Take as much as you want. For Tylenol, they're like... Please take one. If you if you absolutely need to, take two. Under no circumstances ever, take three. kind of goaded. They were cooking when they made those, man. Nowadays, they're like, you mad, bro? We took the part out of the NyQuil that actually makes the NyQuil work. <laughs> it's crazy I have brand loyalty to a painkiller. I have to admit, like, is there any reason you would... I, I always get Tylenol. I've always considered myself a Tylenol guy. But is there any reason you wouldn't get Advil over Tylenol if you were a free thinker? They're different drugs. Aren't Advil and Tylenol like the same... the same John? No. You can do both? You might want to check that one before you take chat's advice. One's bad for your liver, the other one's bad for your kidneys. <laughs> yeah, but have you ever considered having like a really bad headache is fucking bad for getting the bag? God. It turns out this jump actually is hard. 
How do you know if your kidneys are bad? Because, like, when I was sick um, with what I thought might have been food poisoning, like, three months ago, all of the symptoms of what I had pointed to either food poisoning or complete kidney failure. Your piss was weird? No, my the piss was, like, the only thing normal about me. <laughs> At that point. You're probably good then. If you're retaining fluid or your eyes turn yellow. Isn't that a liver thing? I'm asking I'm I'm asking in a funny voice, but I'm being serious. Both. Holy cow. It's kind of crazy to think about like Mankind has kind of conquered physics, but we're just scraping the surface of biology, man. I know it's like, it sounds like copium as like a, someone holding a biology degree, but we fucking, in the last 150 years, we fucking crushed physics, bro, and chemistry. We're like, guess what? Boom. Trains. Cars. Rocket ships. Fucking nuclear power plants. We landed a dude on the moon. We built an international space station. Human biology, we're like, oh, you got this, here's a pill. You got this, caught, sorry, buddy, you're on your own. We did do surgery on a grape, though. You're not wrong. Okay, one second, I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow my nose. Yo, great news! My mucus is no longer clear! We're starting to get to the green stuff. Let's fucking go! Is that good? In my course of illness, that's usually good. First couple of days, I start with clear mucus, and then it turns green, and then that's how I know that I'm like almost, I'm, I'm starting to crest over it. Why does blood know that? Because I fucking look at the shit that comes out of my body? Do you look at the toilet paper after you wipe? Yes, I look after the, at the toilet paper after I wipe. It's my poop, bro. you fold your TP and wipe again? Let me think. No. I take two to three squares, fold, wipe, close, and put into the toilet. Why close? I don't know. It's just the way I've always done it. Never really thought about it that serious. I'm a five-sheeter? I mean, that's crazy. There's people out there that are going, like, three sheets, you wasteful ass. Okay, you're probably using... Like, you're wiping three times as many times if you're using one sheet. Like, it's it all comes out in the fucking wash, bro. Are you a folder or a crumpler? I do a little, like a hybrid theory, I think. A little, a little between a fold and a crumple.
why fold? It's already square. I don't want to risk my finger breaching through the substrate and getting a little dookie on my finger. So even though the shit is already two ply, I kind of fold it to make it like four ply. Really, the more layers of protection I can get between my finger and my feces, like it's the the, the better. How has your wiping technique changed since the advent of smartphones? Uh, you have uh, ADHD. If you're wiping has changed because you're always holding your phone in your hand, you've got to examine your relationship with your smartphone. You just put it down for like 20 seconds and then wipe the, the best way you know how and then pick it back up. There is an epidemic of people in the men's bathroom looking at their phones while they piss. I'm not going to say I've never done it, but I, I kind of, I've reached a, a zen point in my life where I'm like, do I really need to be looking at my phone while I'm pissing in a public bathroom? Like, do I really, like, how weak am I that I need that 20 seconds to be saturated with some kind of distraction? But now I see, like, middle-aged dudes pull up to the urinal, one hand on the phone, just scrolling, the other hand, pss Come on, man. I mean, in your own home, you could do whatever you want, but... What else do you need to be looking at? I don't know, it's just kind of... I think you should make sure... You should have a constant through line to see where your piss is going. Because, like, if you are not hitting the bowl for even, like, half a second... That's a fucked up situation. You've compromised things. Like, if, if ever the stream breaks connection with the bowl, your shoes or your pants or the floor is going to be, like, totally soaked. You know what's troubling sometimes? When you, um... You, you pee... And I'm just I'm just a normal person like any of you. Sometimes you might end up with a little dribble on the toilet seat or the around the bowl, right? As a man of I, I think we live in a society, I take a little toilet paper and I wipe the the piss off of the bowl. But then like sometimes you throw it into the toilet afterwards and it fucking fizzes like you dropped it into sulfuric acid. Am I dying? Like, sometimes you throw it in and it's just like, bloop. And sometimes you throw it in and it's like an Alka-Seltzer tablet. It's like, <laughs> That shit has never happened to me. Maybe I should talk to a doctor. That is not normal. How am I supposed to explain this to a doctor, though? You don't think it could be that, like, the toilet paper is acidic and the piss is normal? <laughs> Are you the alien? I'm just saying, man. Human body is kind of crazy. Probably chemicals collected from wiping the bowl. Maybe it's copium, but that makes me feel good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's probably the toilet bowl cleaner that we use. Guaranteed. You ever see some bits of undigested lettuce in the bowl? As a child, I didn't. As an adult, yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a little lettuce in there from time to time. Not like leaves, but like, you know, maybe like a, a five millimeter piece of, of lettuce. Corn? Corn I, I am able to digest, but lettuce passes right through me for some reason.
We're so back. Okay, okay, no! No! Okay, hold. Hold again. It's so much harder than you'd expect. Yes! Climb up the center. Go again. Go again. Yes! What, what the hell is that? We're on, boys. We're on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Whoa! Daddy, chill. A boar. A spiral rivet. Okay, hold. You can take a second to regroup. That thing is going to send you off like a son of a gun, bro. You're right. This is a lock-in moment. Get comfortable. Get comfortable. Okay, we go again. We go again. We go again. We go again. That was locked in. Huge. Huge. Lock in, lock in, lock in, lock in. Hold. <laughs> Hold. That was a tactical fall. Get ready to learn it. Dan, I I didn't know what this game was cooking with until this moment. I didn't know it had real physics. I thought it just had climbing. Thank you for the raid. Look at this. Wouldn't it be crazy if I did learn it? Like I showed up one day and I just spoke fluent Mandarin. And I did a whole stream in Mandarin. Kermit voice. I'm sick, bro. My nose is congested, okay? Hey, Krusty Jugglers. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Quirked up white boy does whole stream in Mandarin. Everyone tells him to die. What the hell? Prezo, by the way, I saw your post about the Ludwig subreddit. They do fucking hate your ass, man. What's up with that? Just because you made a, a funny joke on Twitter? People were like, I didn't appreciate this joke? Like, lighten up a bit, man. <laughs> People on Reddit will always be like, I'm not trying to be toxic, but does anybody else think that, like, this guy should die? 
I really, really, really like this content creator. Like, I think if we met in real life, we would be best friends. But this person who's actually friends with him is my least favorite person in history, and I wish they would disappear off the face of the planet. Like, it's, it's insane, man. Why do they hate Prezo so much? Well, Prezo tweeted that Ludwig came out as non-binary. And then, I guess they got excited or offended. And then when they looked it up and it, it wasn't a valid thing that actually happened, they felt betrayed. No! I was holding too long. I was holding too long. I was yapping. What was the original joke? The joke was that Ludwig came out as non-binary, but actually, he didn't. <laughs> I can tell the other guys on this podcast hate this guy on the podcast. That, yeah, I, that comment happens in every show, man. It's crazy. Anyone else get the vibe that everybody else on the show would just wish this motherfucker they've known for 20 years would stop talking? But then, I went to Justin's stream, and while he was sleeping, he was playing, like, old Rainbow Six videos. And I was, like, listening to my old voice from 2017. And I was like, these motherfuckers hate me and want me to shut up. I was, like, I was singing too much. I was interrupting people. I, my voice was different. And I was saying stuff like, hey, can I, get a, can I get a reinforce on this ping? Like, I was talking about the game. I, and I was like, why did these guys ever hang out with me, man? <laughs> what happened? Whoa! Yeah, they definitely wanted to kill my ass. You still interrupt and sing? Yeah, but like at least I'm funnier now. Back then, uh, mm, does anybody have a, a an umpy? Does anyone have a four grippy for an umpy? Hey! Oh, watch out, guys! There's a castle on ping. Like, what? What, what the fuck? Who did I think I am, man? Shroud? I used to be a type A streamer. I'm gonna next we're gonna go to Nibbleheim and I'm gonna try to level up my Knights of the Round Materia to level four, which makes the summon scene take twenty-seven minutes and you no know, you can't press the button to actually skip through it, but why would I want to? Next, I'm gonna go to. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to do in this video, guys. I gotta go to Golden Saucer and win the win the Chocobo races so I can get a Golden Chocobo. And after we get a Golden Chocobo, we can go get Knights of the Round and Mime from the Materia Caves. I was literally. I spent like ten years of my life talking like that. Like, what the fuck was? I don't know what happened to me, but I'm glad it happened, man. This is like Jim Carrey after he put on the mask. He was like, "Bro, fuck Stanley Ipkiss." I'm the mask now. Woo! Hello, Daniel. I watched some of your Kerbal Space Program videos and people told me... Or, uh, you have gone through some stuff voice-wise. Go read the comments for those Kerbal Space Program videos. There were literally people telling me to blank myself. You won't see them now because it's been 10 years. So the top comment is like, guys, guys, we should really be nicer to NL in these videos or he's going to stop making the Kerbal Space Program com uh, co content. Sorry, my, my Wernicke's area is not working today. Woo! Hold. 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 You gotta climb. Insane. Insane tech. Go. Go. 
So close, so close. It's not so bad. Not so bad. Err, this game just makes me so mad. It's like a cockadiarrhea from a bull's doo doo. I'd rather eat the rotten asshole of a road killed skunk and drown it with beer. <laughs> Certified AVGN moment. Ready? Next time. Next time. Hey, Valentine. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. How far have you gotten in this game? You're looking at it, buddy. That's not true, you've made it a little further? Yeah, 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 but like... You're looking at it, buddy, let's be honest. Is he even halfway through the game yet? You know what you are? I'm distilling your entire being from one comment down to a meme. I'm... I'm flattening and removing all the nuance from your life. You are the meme of the guy at work who has a thought bubble coming out of his head that is, can't wait to finish work so I can stop looking at work screen and go home and look at home screen. This is the life, man. You, you don't just finish this and then the next thing is gonna be even better. If anything, you know, modern life, the next thing's probably gonna be much worse. You should be embracing living in the moment right now. Hang on, I gotta blow my nose. Please stop calling this a children's game. This is actually one of the most adult games ever made. Kids are playing Baldur's Gate 3 and getting in arguments on Twitter about mistreatments of their fave. Adults aren't afraid to suffer real adversity. No, Baldur's Gate 3 is actually really hard. It's really hard. Yes, you can beat the final boss by uh, taking an invisibility potion, walking behind him, and then kicking him off the edge. But no, no, it's really hard, bro. It's really hard. Are you crazy? I just walked over here. Didn't you say it wasn't hard yesterday? That was in response to a different comment that served my argument better to represent it thusly, okay? Help. Huge grab. Bad grab, but that was pretty good on the way up. Next time. Next time. This argument, unfortunately, I have portrayed it as a steam train, whereas I am an angry bullet train. So true. Playing dolls with Wojaks again, honey? Oh. 
Baldur's Gate 3 most overrated game. I've never played it. It's probably one of the best games of all time. But that's why it's the most fun game to make fun of. They're suffering from success. Apollo is reporting Swag Thursday has been canceled. Can you vet? I'm not comfortable to say that it's been canceled. I would say that it's on um, furlough right now. Just because, like, me personally, I don't want to show up here and give you, like, a subpar Swag Thursday. Like, sure, I'll phone it in for, like, five hours at work when I'm not feeling well, but I'm not going to call that Swag Thursday. I feel like that's not fair to the brand. I want you to know that when you see the title Swag Thursday, like, we're going to be giving you permission to swag out. And I, I don't mind if you still swag out over this, but I just can't rely on myself to bring the noise like that today. So I hope you're enjoying it, but I, I, I don't think it's going to be Swag Thursday today simply because I, my energy is a little diminished. You look like a... Well... We're waiting. <laughs> you know what's crazy? A couple of weeks ago we ordered Papa John's. On the pizza box, it says, we proudly serve Pepsi products. Why would you print an embarrassing statement like that on your pizza box? What do you mean you proudly serve Pepsi products, man? Begrudgingly serve Pepsi products as a result of an exclusive brand partnership? Sure, but we proudly serve it? I mean, that just seems like the most transparent lie of all time. wholeheartedly offer Sierra Mist. Oh, you mean Starry? Why Papa John, though? Listen, the Canadian Pizza Wars, it's in kind of like a, it's in a bad place. We don't have the same kind of like capitalist paradise that you guys have in the United States, where if you live in New Jersey, there's like a hundred amazing pizzerias within a 30-minute drive of you. You, we're, we're, we're not spoiled for choice down here. I'm sorry to say. Do you rock with dominoes? Uh, I do not rock with dominoes. I told my domino story recently. As a kid, uh, was a skid. No one knew me by name. Crashed my own house party because nobody came. As a kid, uh, dominoes was ass. Then in like 2007, they were like, we made it better. And I was like, yeah, nice try. And then I ate it, and I was like, whoa, they did make it better. And then, that had been kind of what I've been operating under the assumption of for like 15 years, right? Uh, so maybe eight months ago, we ordered Domino's, and I ate it, and I was like, they made it bad again. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's just the local franchisee, but... Woo! No good Italian food in the Pacific Northwest either. Little bro's never been to ask for Luigi. <laughs> Come on. No good Italian food in the, in the Pacific Northwest. Are you from Naples? 
Brother, it's just no disrespect. It's noodles and sauce. You can, that's the beauty of it. You can make it good anywhere. Yeah. Whoop. Chicken parm, not pasta? Oh yeah, you mean uh, adult tendies? How dare you? <laughs> people love to say there's no good restaurants in X, even when they don't live there. It's true, people, and I, I'm guilty of doing it myself. Like, I've, I've spent some time in Seattle, but how many meals have I eaten there? Probably like 30 meals. I'm like, Seattle food scene is horrible. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It is, it's based on my experience, but I'm sure it's probably got some great food. I just don't know where to find it. Toronto clears? I believe that. I believe Toronto has an amazing food scene. We got our first Michelin stars this past year. Vancouver as well. But... I've stopped going out to cool restaurants and started going out to like the white spot instead because they have a, an absolutely crazy kids menu. <laughs> the kids menu goes crazy. I don't know, what's the kids menu like at... Uh, I'm trying to even think of the name of these restaurants. Burdock and Company? What's the, what's the kids' menu like at Burdock and Company? Oh, we have a fucking rhubarb foam that kids seem to like. Oh, really? Does it compete with grilled cheese sandwich, crinkle cut french fries, and ketchup? I don't think so. Send it. Send it. Is the concept of a kid's tasting menu funny? Yes. Kids do not care. In my, well, at least my three-year-old does not care. She doesn't care about the art of restaurant touring. That's for sure. Like, we'll go to like a ramen restaurant. I'll be like, what do you want to eat? And she'll be like, french fries. And I'm like, that's tough. <laughs> that's something. I don't know if we can do that. Hey, well, you know, they don't have french fries, but here... They have miso ramen. How does that sound? Oh, you don't want that? Uh, okay, how about shio ramen? Or maybe even shoyu ramen? No, none of that sounds like it's going to hit the spot, huh? How about, mm, they got one appetizer, they got gyoza. I'm a shio guy myself, personally. Especially if it's dipped in Mamalicious's Eat Your Ass Oil. Hold, 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 hold. No, it's not right. It's not my cycle. It's not my cycle. Go up the middle. It's not my cycle. It's not my cycle. Go up the middle. It's my cycle. Okay. <laughs> okay. Can I tell you, by the way, I've been complaining for a while about, oh, I, no yapping, no yapping, no yapping. I've been complaining for a while about my laundry coming out of the dryer still a little bit damp and thus requiring extra time or even in extreme circumstances an entire another cycle in the dryer. Uh, we clean the lint trap. I know what you're gonna say. I'm a 100% lint trap cleaner. 
I vacuumed out the, the vents to make sure that it was still good. Then, last time when we came back from vacation, I, I was looking at the laundry machine and there was a setting on it called EcoBoost. Then I googled Maytag EcoBoost. And it says, hey, here's a little setting that um, makes your dryer worse, but makes you feel good about like not destroying the environment. I'm just being honest. I said, turn that shit off, toot sweet. And then my shit came out fucking crispy, bro. It came out like a like a good samosa. They should really call it Eco Slow. Yes! No! How could you do this to me? And it was also not really too eco, in my opinion. Because my ass had to run the dryer for like three hours to get the same level of dryness that I was getting from like a one hour cycle with no eco boost on. Yes. Hold, hold, just hold. Hold and go again. We gotta go faster on that next section. Hold. <laughs> next time, next time, next time, next time, hold. And I gotta be honest with you, I'm really like a... I'm an all or nothing guy when it comes to the dryer. Like my ass is not running one cycle in the dryer and then taking the clothes out and hanging them up. I'm either going air dry from the very start or I'm making sure that they're done once they're, they're out of the dryer. Like it's just, I'm not spending my whole day doing laundry like this is a little house on the prairie, right? Like we got, we got stuff to do. My, not my cycle. That's fine, go back. I thought that was it, I thought that was it. Hold. <laughs> Hold. Woo. You think your European audience knows what a dryer is? Yeah? They all went to university on the taxpayer's dime, right? I'm sure they're familiar with the concept of a clothes dryer, whether or not they have access to one themselves. Just go by feel, bro. No! No, okay, we're going hold. Just hold on this one. We go all the way back. This is a patience situation. Oof. Okay, we, we calm down for a second. We blow our nose. <laughs> and then we go again. One more time. The water feels good on my body. It's crazy like to go swimming. And I've been doing my fair sh share of swimming probably since like 2021 now. But like, I probably did not swim in a swimming pool from, I'm gonna say like 2005 until like 2021. You forget, if, it, if you haven't been swimming for a long time, you forget the joy that comes from being in the water, bro. It just feels nice. Were you in jail? No, it's just like when you get older, the opportunity to swim 
like it doesn't present itself to you. When you're a kid, like some, you go to a friend's birthday party or something, they're like, hey, check it out, we're going to the YMCA to swim, or like, you know, you're, you're staying with your grandparents at like a Howard Johnson hotel and they've got like an outdoor pool that's three degrees Celsius or something like that. As an adult, you really gotta make that work for yourself if you wanna go swimming. Did you not go to the beach, though? Yeah, but, like, going to the beach, it's not really swimming. You do, like, some wading, and maybe you, you like, submerge yourself, and you, you swim for, like, three minutes or something like that, but... And then, like, I don't want to say that, um... Like, organic nature is worse than artificial nature, but, like, swimming pools are kind of goaded. The water can be climate-controlled. Um, there's no seaweed grabbing at you like the ghosts of Davy Jones' pirate crew. Uh, you don't walk out into the swimming pool and then all of a sudden there's like a hundred meter stretch of sharp rocks. Whee. Swimming pools solve some problems for sure. No sharks, yeah? No manta rays? The chlorine smell actually comes from when chlorine binds to urine, so anytime you smell it, you know someone peed in the pool. I'm just gonna be honest with you, I wish people wouldn't pee in the pool, but it doesn't bother me. Knowing that the pool is full of piss doesn't bother me at all. I just have stronger mental than that, no disrespect. The best of my knowledge, I don't believe anyone's ever died of like, piss poisoning from swimming. I feel like, you know, it's kind of a, a, not a nice thought, but there's a lot of fucking molecules in that, in that swimming pool. I'm sure I'm coming across piss now and then, but like, what do I care? Ooh. Okay, I was glancing, you can tell. Would you swim in a pool that's 50% piss? No. I'm pretty sure though, like, if you're in a pool with 20 people, and two of them piss, that pool is 99% water. That's a very small volume of piss compared to, like, a very big volume of water. Did you see how graceful that was? <laughs> <laughs> Holy smooth with it, bro. Not even close. Even piss is mostly water. Yeah, but it's like tainted water. That's bad. Like, with the life straw, you know, you can, like, piss, and then you can drink the piss with the life straw, and it filters it down to just water. That's still piss. It can keep you alive, but that's piss water. Maybe not in a chemistry sense, but in like a spiritual sense. It carries the, the essence of piss. The seed of piss resides within it. Oh, you work on your grip strength, bro. You definitely can't do that with a life straw. I gotta call my doctor. Maybe that's why my shit's all carbonated. Hold. It's kind of crazy a swimming pool is like 6,000 liters.
It's 60,000 liters? 60, that's, maybe 6,000 is like a kiddie pool. Sixty, sixty million. That's only six cubic meters. I mean, that seems like pretty big. Isn't that like eighteen feet deep, eighteen feet long, and eighteen feet wide? <laughs> That's, that seems like a fucking. That seems like a perfectly sizable swimming pool, man. No. Wait a second. Okay. Hey. Teach me. This is a teachable moment. That would be thirty-six meters cubed. Okay. It's like two by two by two. Two by two by two. Two meters deep is still pretty deep, bro. Now, two meters long is not very long. I would know that would be eight. You're absolutely right. Shoot is like 1.7, 1.7, 1.7 or something. Two meters by three meters and one meter deep. See, now we're cooking. Hold. Hold. Has Coke always been your go-to soda? Uh, no. As a kid, I drank whatever was in the house. Then, uh, when I figured out it was bad for me, I said, I'm never going to drink my calories again. That lasted 18 months until I made it to college, and I said, why would anyone ever drink a soda? It doesn't make sense. Three nights a week, I would drink $10 beers. Not a $10 beer, 10 beers that cost a dollar each. And I would still be like, why would you ever have one root beer? Like, it doesn't make sense. It's only the, the reintroduction of diet sodas has been a relatively recent um, addition into the ecosystem. I miss loony beers. I'm not up on the times. Didn't Doug Ford bring it back? Wasn't that like the, the number one pillar of his campaign? Lamal. <laughs> I, I was, I'm being serious. It flopped. I was working at the LCBO during that time. Nobody did that shit. I guess he was like, make your beers a dollar. And people were like, we can't do that. We'll go out of business. And he was like, ah, shit. Well, nevertheless. The breweries came out and said, we can't make beer for a dollar. I mean, that makes sense. But can't you just do, like, what they do for corn? And be like, sell the beers for a dollar and the government will pay, like, an extra 50 cents? Ooh! I was working at a waitress in a cocktail bar when that shit happened. Nobody did that. Sorry, I'm going carpet mode. I think drinking water is kind of a scam. They say like, oh, when you're sick, you gotta drink a lot of water. And then my body's like, just converting it straight to mucus. Like, if I just dehydrated myself and got desiccated, I, my nose wouldn't be running so much. You need the mucus though? I guess sometimes, like, the human body must get pissed when we have colds, right? Like, if the human body actually could think. Ignore the phrasing there. Because, like, you get sick, and your body's like, boom, fever, don't worry, we got this. And you're like, guess what, ibuprofen, fever comes down. Your body's like, what the fuck, bro? And you're like, okay, um, runny nose, we're gonna, we're gonna get this bitch out of your nose then. I see how it is, we'll compromise, we'll compromise, and you're like, boom. Something that dries up all my snot. And you're like, bro, I'm trying, what am I supposed to do? We only got a certain number of, 
possible apertures to push this bitch out through. And you're like, sorry, I have to go to work today. Sorry, the, the people at the restaurant need someone to tell their food order to and then bring the food from the little window that's eight feet away to your table. So I, I, would love, I would love to care about my health, but I've been... I simply can't afford to take more time off. That's not it. There's also getting yelled at for something that's not your fault. That's true. I'm not against the, the servers, by the way. You got me all backwards. Body be like, fine, all that shit goes to your lungs. Enjoy pneumonia, peace. So true. Did you see that Walmart might start charging to use self-checkout? If that's true, and I'm doubting that it's 100% valid because of the fact that it confirms... Like, it, it makes me so mad immediately that my gut reaction is to be skeptical, which I think is healthy. If that is real, they're cooked. They're going to charge me to steal salami? It's the exact backwards way that it should be, bro. You should get a discount for using the self-checkout. Don't even get me started, by the way. When I'm at the grocery store... I know I haven't seen the video essays. I understand it's a corporate tax write-off, okay? If I got a $90 grocery order and the cashier says, would you like to add $2 for like, you know, underprivileged pets? I'm like, sure, add two bucks to the bill. When the robot does it, I'm like one bad day away from smashing that machine to bits. If you don't have the audacity to hire a human being to ask for the donation and you actually just have like a little UI element pop up that's like, would you like to give us two extra dollars? You can seriously suck me. It's like that at McDonald's too. Yes, but I will say at McDonald's, I, um, I typically round up to the nearest dollar for Ronald McDonald House. If my order was like 1803 and it was a 97 cent roundup, I might think twice. But if it's like 1872, I'm like, here you go. Here's 28 cents. Oh no, it's getting cold again. It's 76 degrees in my office. Celsius? Celsius, maybe 23? I got the damn chills, bro. Why not just save up and give $100 and get the tax receipt? Lazy. What would you do if money was no object? Money is no object, and I walk through Leicester Square on a Tuesday. Also, can I... I got uh, canvassed when I went into the grocery store about a month ago. It was a breast cancer charity. And I... I just reserve judgment for a second, okay? They said, would you like to donate some money for breast cancer research? I said, sure. They said, oh, thank you so much. How much do you want to donate? I said, $20. They said, oh, thank you. The minimum donation is actually $40. I don't know if the dude was running a hustle, but I was like, you can do that. You could be like, thanks for your generosity, but actually $20 is below the minimum donation. But I, I'll admit he, I mean, he mogged me, basically. I had already agreed. There was like a foot in the door, right? I was like, oh, sure, no problem. Double, yeah, double it and give it to the next guy. Like, I get that you got, uh, you know, like processing fees and overhead and stuff like that, but holy cow.
you got scammed. That's one way to think about it. Another way to think about it is that I was pressured into becoming a hero. Which I gladly took because I had already gotten the inertia of saying I was going to do it. So there was a higher cognitive cost to backing out at that point. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Bro, this is awful. You've been on the same pillar for ages. Progress Andes, when uh, they look at the calendar and realize that the Earth is in the same place it was 365 days ago. Is that my daughter in there? Oh, grip strength. Hold, hold. I need assistance! You see that TikTok? I love that TikTok. Oh, man. I've been seeing so many TikToks because of Twitter. It's actually so funny that this is the best that Twitter has been in years. And literally all it is is like, here's the best post from another platform. Like, that's such a fall from grace. <laughs> like, actually, Twitter's been trending in the right direction now that it's just become reposted TikToks. And people getting weirdly parasocial about how long a handshake is when uh, taking an Oscar statuette from somebody. Ooh. Hold. He's holding. He's holding. He's holding. Now. Now. Huge. Good cycle, please. This is a bad cycle. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. That was a bad cycle. We go again. <laughs> Calm. Sleepy time tea. Sleepy time tea. What am I doing? I was that was not caught. That was too calm. Why aren't this man's forearms huge? Uh, diet is as much a proportion of your gains as uh, progressive overload. This is what functional fitness looks like. Liver King. Try again, try again. Huge. Huge. Yes. Horrible cycle. No, 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 no. That, we are greedy. There's no peace for me. <laughs> There's no peace coming. We're in the fucking grinder, bro. Yes. 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 Huge. Huge. Okay, calm, calm, calm. We go again. Not perhaps too calm. 
Perhaps it was perhaps it was too calm. Perhaps it was too calm. Hold. Oh, thank you. Okay, take a breather. Take a breather. <laughs> Hustle. Hold, hold, hold. Okay, we go again. Absolutely beautiful. Yes! Cycle me. Good cycle. What have I done? What have I done? Hold. Hold, 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 hold. Okay. Why is this game so hard? Guy who trips over his feet three times a day on flat ground to be like, why is this game hard? NL, that's you. I know! That's why you can't be mad at me for saying it. Yes. What the fuck was I thinking? Hold. <laughs> He's doing tricks on it. He's bouncing and moaning on it. Grip, bro! Get some leverage! Sex reference? What are you talking about? Bouncing and moaning on it? I thought we were talking about letting bro use my jet ski. Yes! Hold. Hold. Okay, I understand. I understand what you want from me. Holy cow. I mean, it's not really calm. But it's calmer. It's certainly calmer. Go. Chibli's launch technique is actually like so evergreen. You can use it wherever you wish. Uh, okay, careful. Might have to go straight up to this bad boy. I see it. Are we in Italy? Me when I go to the old spaghetti factory? I don't know where to go. I don't know where to go. Maybe you can only climb on the... On the windows? Maybe the windows are the part that is actually frictionful? The ledges and the windows. Hold. 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 <laughs> the ledges. The ledges. Okay. Ah! Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Right there.
I mean, once we got chip tech, nothing's stopping us, man. I'm scared, though. I am scared. Perhaps we go down now? Or do we... We gotta go up. Come on, brother. Hold. Hold here. Hold here. Oh. <laughs> oh. Okay, you know what? This one looks closer. He's holding. Then... Grab the top. As top as it gets. Okay, I understand. It's like a orthogonal projection type deal. These are closer than they look. This is fucked though. <laughs> Shirt. Shirt. If you hold oh, okay, it's okay. Calm down. Calm down. It's so orthogonal projections. This game is actually kind of insanely easy once you learn chip technique. <laughs> hold. hold. Wait, can't you just climb up this? I'm going to say no on that one. We are climbing City Hall in historic downtown Kingston, Ontario. Any limestone city heads? You know what I'm talking about. Flawless. Grab the shirt, bro. Grab the shirt. Okay, okay, hold. <laughs> hold. Okay, I see the problem here. Let's calm it down. I see. It's huge. Not on just being honest, it wasn't my most comfortable jump. Oh, okay. Momentum. Okay, then we got to go low on the speedo. Not that low. <laughs> Come on. Huge. No glancing. None glancing. I'm in the pool, bro. I'm in the pool. Okay. I was in the pool. Me trying to explain why my penis is small, but actually it's just small. Thank you, Seinfeld. Thank you. You've given me plausible deniability. So true. <laughs> How would you know? 
You see that TikTok? That's like, I'm a savage. Penis size average. Shrinkage is real? Oh, you piece. Shrinkage definitely is real. Green ones are lies, maybe? Yep, okay. I was your masseuse. Does it make me a fucking point dexter that I always keep my underwear on during the massage? From what I understand, you can either uh, go full nude or you can keep your underwear on. So I said, why would I ever go full nude during a massage? I don't think it's weird to go nude during the massage. That's like, those are the two ways that they say you can do it. Don't trust it. Don't believe it's lies. Oh, I really thought we had it. <laughs> Any massage therapists in chat? I have genuine questions. What percentage of your new patients... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Inappropriately proposition you, even though you're a serious... Uh, Craftsman or craftswoman. I'm going to assume it's low. I'm going to assume it's like 2%. But I, I, I guarantee it must happen, right? My colleague says it's happened to him five times over 10 years. That's not insignificant. I'm sure, yeah, you get banned for life, like, as soon as you say it, right? You're like, bro, I got a lab coat on. Like, what are you... <laughs> you got the wrong kind of joint. My friend is a dentist and it's happened to him. People are crazy, man. That's why I always jerk off before I go to the dentist. Plus two, plus two, let's go. <laughs> Whoa, come on. Oh, it just gets you in the mood, right? When they get that metal hook out and they start digging around in your gums and they're like, you're bleeding a lot. Are you flossing? And you're like, do I tell them a lie when this is their job? They obviously know that I'm not flossing. Or do I tell them the truth and they're going to be like disappointed in me? And then I'm like, no, no, I actually floss a lot. I just have anemia. Yeah, yeah, but I, like localized entirely in my mouth. I always say I try to when I can. I got to see what percentage of Dennis actually floss. That was not even close. I'm sure it's higher than like a non-dentist. But I bet there's dentists who are like... Sorry, I'm fucking shivering. <laughs> I'm sure there's dentists who are like, you gotta floss, and then they go home and they're like, just brushing it and going straight to bed. One hundred percent. Don't take your work home with you. So true. I'm just gonna heat up my body a little bit. I'm gonna blow my nose. Even normal doctors tend to floss? Well, yeah, because like, they've got so much free time. They're only working like 18-hour days. 
Okay, full stop. Most annoying part of going to the dentist, when the back of your mouth starts filling up with rinse solution and your own spit, but they tell you you're not supposed to swallow, and you're holding your mouth open, waiting for when they actually put like the suction in there, and then sometimes they take too long and you're like about to swallow and then they go, no, 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 don't swallow. Here you go. And then they put it in, but they like stick it to your soft palate so it doesn't actually get any like throughput. Like there's no bandwidth and it only sucks out like two molecules of water. And you're like, oh, now I got to wait like another three minutes for them to do it again. Mine just leaves it in. Yo, new tech. It's fucked up because like I feel so cold that I'm like, I feel like I should be able to see my breath. I can't believe I'm doing this. I'm going to get a damn blanket. It's good. It's going to be the coziest stream you've ever seen. <sighs> Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Freaking chilly, bro. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, I'm chilling. It's just the chills and the nose. I hope. Are you coming down with something? Bro, I'm coming up with something. How do you feel about that shit? You know I'm such a fool for you. You've got me wrapped around your finger, dear. Did you have to let it shiver? Did you have to? Did you have to let it shiver? I don't know what it says that like when my brain is cooked, I'm so much better at this game. Maybe this is a game for idiots. Son of a gun. So true. What's the lower reason this guy climbs? Got nothing better to do, man. You know, what's the reason that anybody does anything at the end of the day? You're either getting paid for it or you, you derive some enjoyment out of it. There we go. There we go. Why do we peel bananas? This is a bait question. Just checking. What is life but just one big climb? Yo, I told you you would uh, 
agree with me about more things the, after you had a kid, D.L. Guiga? So true. Okay, ready? D.L. Guiga has been compromised. D.L. Guiga is no longer a mod on r slash dog free. Congrats to my man Phil on becoming a dad today. Yo, congrats, Phil, but honestly, like, congrats to your partner uh, more so, because honestly, I've been there. You didn't really do that much, probably. I know you're like, it's not easy. Of course it's not easy, you know. You still got to do, like, a, a lot of stuff relative to what you would do on, like, a normal Thursday, but, like, there's nothing compared to what the, the mother of the child went through. Little Guiga's turning two months old. That is crazy to think about. I'm trying to think two months old. The milestones at that age are like, they're so hard to remember. It's like the, their eyes get a certain bit of sunshine when they hear their name. They track you moving. Next stop, Call of Duty Esports. Apparently, I'm less than two months old. I remember, like, and I've, I've told this before. I remember being like, man, you know, those first, like, basically the first year when they're either, like, non-syllabic, monosyllabic, or, like, just speaking nonsense... I was like, it's going to be crazy when she has the cognitive ability to like express her emotions in uh, English in a way that we understand. And it was for like six months. But honestly, now I'm kind of like, take me back. Because <laughs> you'd think that maybe it would lead to less crying. And I guess it probably there is less crying because they can express themselves in other ways. But they, they go for the gut, man. They go for your heart. I don't like daddy. I only like daddy one day a week. Like, that's crazy. These toddlers are like testing their, their limits, man. They'll, she'll legit say to me something like, I don't love daddy. And you just got to like not take it seriously because two minutes later, she's like, daddy, I love you so much. Come on, man. I get that shit too. It hurts. It does hurt because I'm like, why am I fucking putting myself through all this shit? <laughs> oh, you don't love me? Okay, well then make your own peanut butter toast in the morning. Put your own orange and mango juice in a cup with a screw on lid with a straw attached to it so that when you inevitably knock it over 20 times, it doesn't ruin our table. Don't worry, it just gets worse. Yeah. It's what you sign up for, though. I mean, it's... Uh there's times when it's frustrating. There's times when it's uh, f exciting. But it's always fulfilling. What do you think? Does she lie yet? Yeah, all the time. She's very dishonest. Close, close. <laughs> hey, REM poster, what's the frequency? Kenneth, something, something, some. I don't know any of the words. But I was bumping REM in the car yesterday as a result of our conversation. Thank you again, REM poster. You seem pretty patient. I mean, having a, having a toddler will do that, honestly. Because, like, there's nothing you could do about it. I think it's a good lesson for life. It's like the more impatient you are, the longer something's going to take most of the time.
It's a lesson I'm still learning now. Try from the red? We'll give it a try. I'm a very impatient guy. Should I have a baby at 22? Only you can answer that. I would have described myself as an impatient person as well. Before I had a kid. Mind you, I was like, I don't know, 32 or something like that. But you can, you, you can only learn from like on-the-job training, bro. Red. We're going to go from red this time. My grandma had a baby at 18. You'll be fine. Yeah, but like, there wasn't anything else to do back then. Did you plan for a kid or did it just happen? It's kind of a presumptuous question, right? It's like, was this the sort of thing you had on your itinerary or did you just like start shooting live rounds and hoping for the best? <laughs> I see you. I see you. I've been asked this so many times. It's kind of a crazy question. I like you for asking it, though, because it gave me the opportunity to respond. Hey, Anel, you wrap that shit up or no? I'm not afraid to touch on the mature subjects. I wrap that shit up. It's, it's easy. It's the least you could do. Please stop. You have a problem. It's the human body, bro. Vasectomy pill. I'm kind of... I'm holding off. I don't mean to be gross. I understand the benefit of a vasectomy. I just don't know if it's worth, and I'm not getting into the benefit for obvious reasons. I don't know if it's worth going through the process at this present moment. Like, I don't know if the juice is worth the squeeze right now. Do you think we can make it from this? I know it's not a major surgery, but it's like, you know, before I have it done, I want to make sure that I'm like, I'm done, you know? Because I don't want a snip, snap, snip, snap type situation. I don't want to rush into it just like, bat chest, bat chest! It feels 12% better, bat chest! And then like, oh, fuck. So I'm just kind of, I'm, I'm holding my horses on that for now. There's a little ball vibrator you can get that kills most of your sperm. Maybe I'm getting too familiar here, but there's also like a little, you can just put like a coat on your dude. I don't want to fucking magic blender my shit. I don't know what's going on down there. That seems potentially dangerous. <laughs> I'll just stick with the, the tried, tested, and true, man. It's the hardest jump in the game. What's the candy corn thing you're wearing? It's a blanket because I'm inexplicably freezing. Even though it's 77 degrees Fahrenheit in here. Go on the lap? No, bro, my, my core is cold. I normally run at 72. So 76 and feeling cold is crazy.
Bro, you're sick. I know. Have you seen the progress I've made today? Did you eat recently? Yes, I consumed two Slurpees and eight Popsicles. Do you think that could be part of the problem? You look amazing. You know what's fucked up? People will always complain about someone saying like, you look sick. It's way more fucked up when you are sick and people say like, you're looking good today. You're like, really? My skin is like uh, gray and I'm dehydrated as shit and I feel like garbage. And they're like, wow, you look good, man. <laughs> well rested today? Yeah, re relatively. Relatively. Oh, baby. Brother? I guess it's a leap of faith. Oh, I see. Oh! <laughs> hold, hold. Let go of the space bar. Getting too freaky with it. The captain's yoke. The helm. Thing is, I don't know if I can hold on to the ground. So we should... I guess we'll swim over to it. I don't know. Imagine jumping to the slide from here. I know it would go crazy, right? Like it'd be one of the best slides of all time. Whoops. Whoops. Okay, we go again. Uh, I see. I see. Still worse than a swing. Well, I, I got a bone to pick with you, DL Guiga, because I was at the playground yesterday. And I, I spent some time on the slide. I spent some time on the swing. And I, I trust your opinion applies to you, but my opinion also applies to me. I was not getting much enjoyment out of the swing. I was like, what am I doing here? The slide, I was like, gravity's giving me some exhilaration. The swing, I was like, I move like, you know, a foot and a half forward. I move a foot and a half back. Big whoop. Okay. Okay. This is the slide, bro. No, bro, no. There was a sign. The sign was pointing down here. It says death that way. I see a blue arrow. I follow it, okay? If Ubisoft taught me anything... I know what I must do. Hold. 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 Even the speedrunners struggle with the wheel. Well, get ready. You're about to see a one of a kind performance. Holy! More? <laughs> More? I think we need to reset. Because we didn't get it in time. Oh, what, what do we care if we fall? We'll just grab the rock. That one's for future considerations. OK, 
okay? All around the world, we can make time. Rumpin' and I'm stumpin', cause I'm in my prime. Born in the north, and I've come to entertain ya. A something something in the state of Pennsylvania. Wake up the lake at the cake she's kissing me. As they do, when they do, in Sicily. And then we can't sing the rest. Kind of a good song, though. I'll admit. Track one off of uh, Californication. Maybe one of the worst songs of all time. It's, brother, it's not even the worst song on the album. Track two was Other Side, wasn't it? I believe track two is Get On Top. Track three is Scar Tissue. And then track four is Other Side. Can I get a check on that one? Scar Tissue's earlier for sure. Earlier than track three? Come on. Oh, Parallel Universe track two. Deep inside of a parallel universe is getting hotter and harder to tell who came first, yo. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Five is get on top. Any second now. Any second now. Yeah. One hand on each knob. I promise it to you. I trust you. I immediately let go. One hand on each knob. Yeah. Oh. I really thought that might have done it for us. <laughs> Me holding on to the chair when someone opens the emergency exit on the airplane. I can't. I'm joking. I mean, I, you're not wrong. What else are you going to do? You know what was crazy about being in the U.S. Virgin Islands? Or I guess it was the British Virgin Islands. They were telling us we were going on this tour, and they're like, get ready. You're going to go on an open-air safari to your, to your beach destination. And I said, open-air safari, that sounds fun. Lo and behold, an open-air safari is actually just a truck with no walls and no doors and no seatbelts. So I'm sitting there like at the end of the truck with no door next to me, with, like with my kid on my lap, holding on to the, my kid as tight as I can. And then with my other hand, like holding on to the seat in front of me. And then the thing's going like, and you're climbing like 500 feet into the air on this one lane road and then doing like a 90 degree turn. It was scary, man. It was like a tractor ride. That's what happened to me in Aruba. They're doing things a little differently down there. Then when we were in the U.S. Virgin Islands, they were like, this tour may contain an open-air safari truck or a charter bus. And I was like, please, God, charter bus. And I'm happy to report it was a charter bus. I was relaxing. I live in the U.S. Virgin Islands. That's crazy. Do you live on the island of St. Thomas? That's where I was. What's interesting is that most places you go, I feel like you can easily tell who is a tourist and who's a local. In the U.S. Virgin Islands, I was like, I have no idea at all. Like dude in the pirate costume, like did he, has he been living here for 20 years or did he just get off the, the cruise ship? I have no idea. 
I think he was local. Come on, bro. <laughs> How about this? Oh! I think I broke it. Hold. Hold. You know what? We should hold fully. Drop me. Let's do one hour of the dulls. And I'll go to the bathroom. Then we'll play Final Fantasy VII. It seems this is a good place to stop. We've been playing for like three hours. Slash marker. Climbing. Great progress. And I'll see you in like two minutes. With Mama Tifa's Materia Oil? What's the best Materia to put on Tifa? Probably Poison because her attacks do multiple hits. What the fuck? Got a damn G-chat message. Boys in the group chat are talking about Super Tuesday. That was last week? Bro, they all have jobs. This is what it's like in the 35-year-old group chat. The run-up to this election is going to be infuriating and depressing. The Ionic 5 is the front-runner for my next car, though. <laughs> oh, man. Let me make sure everything's good to go here. Make sure everything is good to go.
Bandel. Is, today, is this today's Bandle? 1967, 51 million views? It is, okay. Hang on. There's someone at your door, bro. Honestly, that's their problem. I've already made it up the stairs a few too many times today. At least I'm not cold anymore. Nineteen sixty seven. So there were like three um songs that existed at this point in music history. It should be easy. This should be from Rubber Soul. Green sleeves. <laughs> They call it Mellow Yellow. No. Oh, I can't see me. That's, um, imagine, the turtles, imagine me and you. Happy together. Ooh! As made famous by uh, Charlie and Donald Kaufman in the Nicolas Cage film adaptation. Okay. It is the song from the Smash Brothers 64 commercial. Slash Marker, we're back with the dolls. Um, you can't be mad at me if I get any dolls wrong today because I am sick. So I'm either right or you can't make fun of me. It's the perfect time to play the dolls. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do have a blankie on me right now. Check this out. Dragon fighting. Can't be done. Fire fighting. Infern ape. And we love it for him. Fire Alola. Chat, can I get a, a question? In, what is Unova? Sun and Moon, Gen 5. This is where they had the Pokemons that were um, just like shaped like letters. It's black and white. Okay, black and white. What year did that come out? Two thousand and ten, two thousand ten. Okay. Mythical fighting. It must be Buzzwool. He's too large to not be mythical. Mythical Alola. Mewtwo Alola. We're cooked today. It's that simple. Sometimes you just look at it and you know you're you're toast. A dragon Pokemon from the fifth gen. Latios. Rayquaza. That's tough. Uh, uh, Guard Chomp. All right. Dragon Fighting. Guard Chomp. No? Okay. Uh, I have no idea where to go with this. Myth M M Machamp? Is there a special Machamp? G Max is not mythical. You know what? I think that today's not going to be my day for Pokédoku. I only know, like, four Alolan Pokémon, and they're all, like, ice that 
they're fire that turns into ice. <laughs> it's like a lowland vulpix or nine tails is ice instead of fire, right? This is crazy. What the fuck is a mythical? I think it's like a Zapdos type thing, right? Alola Fire is in Smash Bros. Thank you, thank you. You've saved me. Incineroar. Huge. I needed that hint. I appreciate that. And the rest, I think, honestly, I'd, I would just be putting on airs. <laughs> God is my witness. I know Tepig, and I do know Marowak Alola. Or as I call him, Alolan Marowak. And I think, was Zero Aura in Pokemon Unite? Look at Trampa. Darkstalker Katha. But this is tough, man. Least common? Salazzle? I, I've, I know Chandelure. I do not know Zygarde 10% or Taurus Paldea Blaze Breed. Or Margarine Original with the MC Hammer Pants. That one's just not my tempo. That's fine. Let's movies. Movies are kind of my tempo from time to time. Manhattan Trust Bank. Hmm. hmm. Manhattan Trust Bank. This looks like a 2000s movie set in New York. The Inside Man. I am a genius. Maybe Ludwig Göransson was, was cooking something when he said, thank you to my parents for giving me a DVD player instead of a PlayStation 2. Oh, and now the PlayStation 2 had a DVD player in it. Well, you know what? Good point, good point. Someone should let him know that. <laughs> That's bait. Tom Hardy voice. That's bait. After three straight NFL, NFC championship losses, Donovan McNabb and the Eagles finally went to the Super Bowl after defeating this NFC South team in the 2005 NFC title game. I watched this Super Bowl. It was Eagles versus Patriots. Who did they beat? Who was good that year in the NFC? 2005, a little before the Giants were popping. Eli Manning was too fresh-faced. The Bears wouldn't be in the South. Maybe the Atlanta Falcons? No, they strike me as an AFC team. Maybe the... New Orleans Saints. You ever think about that? No. Who was it? Bucks. Bucks? Really? Oh, it was the Falcons. No! They're an NFC team? It was the Michael Vick Falcons. I mean, they never stood a chance against Brian Dawkins, but whatever. You're not ready for that conversation yet. This Mountain West school had RBs with back-to-back 2,000 yards in 26... Let's be honest, I have no idea. Mountain West. Who are the Colorado State whatevers, okay? A career 309 hitter. Played for the White Sox from 97 to 04. The Tigers from 05 to 2011. Who is Maglio Ordonez? Oh, thank you. I, do, I have some knowledge of sports from that era. I don't know where it came from. That's the only person I can name off the Detroit Tigers World Series winning team. Well, did they win or did they lose to the White Sox? It's the capital of Missouri. Biloxi. Oh, no. <laughs> Jefferson City. This is Javier Bardem. This is a tough one because it just looks like Javier Bardem. I can't tell if it's Javier. I think it's Josh Brolin's head and Javier Bardem's face. Bardem? Nope. Wrong. 
I'm cooked today, man. No shot, it's Josh Brolin. Maybe Robert Downey Jr. Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. Yeah, he does. Tom Cruise does love the black on black with the unbuttoned. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you might be right. This brand of powdered and artificially sweetened beverage mixes is known for its lemonade variety and then began selling single serving on the go packs. Crystal Light. Oh! <laughs> we get these. Tatiana Maslany had a role in this 2022 Disney Plus Marvel miniseries. This would be She Hulk. John Travolta and Nicolas Cage swap identities in this movie. Okay, well, they don't really swap identities. The verbiage that I have on that is that that implies that they decided to trade. They didn't really decide to trade. Nicolas Cage decides to become John Travolta, and thus John Travolta has to become Nicolas Cage. Oh, wait, I think I have it backwards. It's been a while. After winning American Idol, this singer dropped hits like No Air, Tattoo, and Battlefield. Fantasia Barino. Taylor Hicks. Nope. Who is it? I have no idea. Jordan Sparks. I'll just be honest with you. I don't know who that is. I, I got kind of washed today. 4% on Celebrity Mashup is, is insane. Tom Felton. I mean, that is crazy. I saw people in chat typing it, and in my head, I was like, there's no shot they would ever use Tom Felton. Oh, I see. It's Javier Bardem's head and Tom Felton's face. That's why I got so confused. I thought it was um, Javier Bardem's face and Tom Cruise's head. No air is a banger. I, here's the thing. You're 30, I'm 35. We're more similar than we are different. But one of the ways in which we're most different is the epochs in which we live through popular music. You know, the kids who were five years older than me were listening to like the Spice Girls in high school. What was I listening to in high school? Wolf Parade's Apologies for the Queen Mary. Now, I was kind of based. I was a little bit based beyond my years. You can go through like a, a, a big generational difference, musically speaking. No Air was popular in 2006. Unfortunately for Jordan Sparks, I was popular in 2006, so I didn't hear it. 2006, I was more listening to um, I wish that we could talk about it. But there lies the problem. You know what I'm saying? Brother, do I? You are LCD pilled. It's true. Hmm. I was there. Are you Sunset Rubdown pilled? Very much so. Trumpet, trumpet, toot, toot. Absolutely. Ever listen to tapes and tapes? Brother, you don't even have to ask. You already know Insister is on the Peloton playlist. They were always kind of more of a, a, a second-rate clap your hands, say yeah to me. But I don't, we don't need to get into that. We don't need to pit two bad bitches against each other, Okay. Pie Day. It, it's the, the most annoying guy you know. It's Pie Day today, bro. Gel. <laughs> Gel. Words you can add a Y to at the end. Spiky. Bumpy. Day. Wittery pie. Daddy. Mui. Servi. Smash. Tennis, tennis terms. Set, serve, smash, spike. Set, 
Spike is not a tennis term now that I think about it. Uh, actually, volleyball terms. Bump, spike, set, and smash. Bumps, bump sets, okay. <laughs> You're telling me smash isn't a, isn't a volleyball term? Winner, winner, winner. Why does this say mistakes remaining two, by the way? Like when I get one more wrong, don't I lose instantly? Daddy, father. No, but I've already gotten two wrong. Daddy, hello, Daniel, hello. You get four. Oh, news, news. I guess you can pluralize almost anything. New, Jackie. Jackie, Jackie Onassi. Daddy, leather daddy. <laughs> We've been through this before. Smash, pie, pie, gel, moo, moo, daddy, row, row, excel, keywords, row, new, Pi day. It's the hardest connections I've ever seen. Father. Accomplishment. Sounds animals make. Jackie. Pie. Things with a crust. Things with a filling. Things that you can add an S to the front and the end. Shits, spies, swinners, and smooths. I've never been this cooked. You can add a T to the end. Moot. Newt. <laughs> you can add S-E to the end. Moose. Pisces. I, with God as my witness, I have no idea. I have no clue. So we're gonna go via, via vibes, okay? Pi and day will not go together. That's our red herring. Moose. <laughs> Jello. Daddy-o. Day-o. winner -o. Ja Jackie, oh, Jackie Onassis, okay. <sighs> New. Moo. Rue. Winner. A hit, a success, a smash, and a winner. What are synonyms for a successful song or a box office victory? New, moo, row, pie. I have no idea what that is. Homophones of Greek letters. Holy. They are trying to give me mental illness. <laughs> They're getting... New York Times has taken the connection slander personally, bro. They said, oh, it's too hard for you? Double it and give it to the next guy. Holy cow, it's a zooted crossword today. Flexible gymnastics move. Split. Innocently clueless. Naive. Keeping it to zero is a Sisyphusian task. Inbox. Terracotta is a pottery material. 
looks fabulous in slang. Slays. Now we're talking. That is what we're talking about. Give me the SATs right now. Explain the inbox for me. People are always talking about inbox zero. Keeping it to zero is a Sisyphusian task. What is snits? <laughs> Foul tempers, I guess. Who knew? Who knew? Coscodal. I'm sorry. The, the burp, I couldn't stop it in time. I couldn't stop it in time. I'm sick. You can't judge me. United Sugars Extra Fine Granulated Sugar, 25 pounds. Relevant to you if you are running a, a bakery. 25 pounds of sugar. Sugar is insanely cheap. I bet this is like eleven ninety nine. Okay. Go ahead and say it. <laughs> Go say it. I can't wait to see Dune 2 so I finally understand what this Luzon Al Gabe stuff means. Did you see Tim Sweeney emailed Gaben and called him a, a freaking crook or something like that? And Gabe Newell emailed back and said, you mad, bro? Sorry, my mistake. <clears throat> it was the COO, but it's still hilarious. I don't know what a COO is. They do all the stuff that the CEO doesn't want to do. Chief operations officer. The hell does that mean? Isn't everything an operation, bro? COO actually runs the company while the CEO golfs. While the CEO runs their campaign to convince the shareholders that they deserve $107 million in compensation this year. Am I everything that's wrong with corporate governance? I don't actually vote whenever I get the email that's like... Um, Please vote for Apple Board of Governors. If I did, 100%, I'm voting Al Gore. You know why? Only name on the list I recognize. Plus, he deserves like a, a little glazing, bro. He got screwed in 2000. Well, let's try Honduras today. Okay, not Honduras. Let's try the Maldives. Kind of an insane pick, honestly. Uh, let's try Mozambique. Even warmer. Let's try Mali. It's adjacent. Let's try Burkina Faso. That's cooler. I can do this. I can do this. Equi no, no, no. Um, Togo. Okay, okay. Um, Ghana. Senegal. Algeria. Yes! West Sahara was what I was thinking about, but Algeria. Algeria. My favorite game? Oh, no, it's not my favorite game. It's World, World La. No disrespect to World La. World La is still pretty good. Am I crazy to think that this shit is like Western Sahara? It seems like it's in the same region. Not even close to the same region, actually. This is Saudi Arabia. I am cracked, bro. This, you're right. This is my Michael Jordan flu game. 
Even on Michael Jordan's flu game, he didn't have a free throw percentage of uh, 100%, bro. Also, why do they call them free throws? Can we dispose of these ridiculous airs? They're called shots. Because they're free? Oh, I mean field goals. I'm not talking about free throws. That's my mistake. I mean field goals. What the hell is a field goal percentage in basketball? I ain't seen anyone ever split the uprights. It's because they used to throw them underhanded? Man. James Naismith could never... James Naismith going Peaky Blinders mode when he sees Vince Carter do a 360-degree one-handed dunk over Bryant Big Country Reeves. Ah! The heck was that? It's not my damn screen region. What happened to my screen region, bro? There it is. Box office game, 1991. I was alive, I was two years old, I was nearly three, for your information. And uh, Robert Englund? Yeah, I'm very familiar with the Friday the 13th films. I mean the Nightmare on Elm Street films. This is probably The Dream Child. This is probably, you know what, let's leave this one for a second. They were really dropping the Friday the 13th. I mean, A Nightmare on Elm Street on September 13th. The news traveled slower back then. Paramount Pictures, $22 million, starring Kenneth Branagh from 1991. I'm fucked, boys. It's fucking like Much Ado About Nothing or something. $6 million, starring Robert Arkins. Okay, let's put that one in the hopper for a second. Tri-Star, $190 million, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger from 1991. What is Terminator 2? Judgment Day. <laughs> Successful. 20th Century Fox, $61 million, starring Charlie Sheen. What is Platoon? Genre. Action Comedy War. What is Hot Shots? There we go. The mother of all movies. Eight misses left. Safest bet. Just keep sending a nightmare on Elm Street down there. How about Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare? Oh! <laughs> Which turned out to be a fucking lie, bro. Just when you thought it was safe to sleep. They saved the best for last. Let me guess. Rotten Tomatoes score, 7%. Cringe-ass behavior. Looking for plus twos in the chat. Before I move on to the next guess. Kenneth Branagh. Tagline. How many times can you die for love? I mean, Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> People die in that. Um, much, much ado about nothing. Final gross, $38 million. Titus Andronicus, tenant. Composer Roman Strauss is executed for the murder of his wife. In 1990, I'm starting to think this isn't Shakespeare. A detective comes across a mute amnesiac woman who's somehow linked to the Strauss murder. With God as my witness, I have no idea. How did Kenneth Branagh do this? In 1991, he was making his own movies that he directed in, that he starred in? Like, I thought that started with, like, Hamlet or something like that, but he's just fucking bootstrapping himself. I have no idea what this is. Dead again. I, I've never heard of it, but more power to you. I love Kenneth Branagh. Because he's in Tenet. And Wild Wild West. They had nothing to lose. They risked it all. Yeah, why wouldn't you? 
Jimmy Rabit, just a tick out of school, gets a brilliant idea to put a soul bound band together in Barrytown. First, okay, it's an Irish movie about making music. I don't know it. The commitments. Fair enough. I think this movie is big on YouTube, right? There's like scenes from this movie. They sing Try a Little Tenderness or something like that. For some reason, there's information in my brain attached to this movie, though I thought I had no idea what was going on with it. 58th percentile is actually like kind of, it's kind of cracked considering we got two misses. I'm not talking about their nicknames, Chad. We got to skip some of the harder dulls. I'm just being honest. My, my brain's not there, man. Go straight to a, a movie grid. Daniel Day-Lewis, Cameron Diaz. Mm, probably sex tape. Gangs of New York. Daniel Day-Lewis, three or more word title. There will be blood. Wait, 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 wait. Released from 1990 to 2010. My left foot. My Rocky Dennis. Isn't that... What's this movie called? Chat, what's this movie called? Hang on. Eddie Murphy, Cameron Diaz. A Shrek... Two, bro. Huge. Three or more word title. The Adventures of Pluto Nash. Bit of a deep cut. Released 1990 to 2010. I'll hit you with... I'm trying to think of a deep... You know, maybe Bowfinger. You won't catch me playing the clumps on this one. It's too obvious. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. It seems so obvious to me. Ben Stiller, three or more word title. Crazy pick, the cable guy. Ben Stiller, 1990 to 2010. Uh, reality Bites. These are good cuts, okay? Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz, bro. He, she's not in Zoolander. She's probably in Zoolander too, because everybody's in Zoolander too. Ben Stiller must have dirt on all of Hollywood. Ben Stiller, Cameron Diaz. Dodgeball? She's not in Dodgeball, I think. She is in Slackers for a second. Vanilla Sky, The Mask. Night and Day, Bad Teacher, Dodgeball, A True Underdog Story, Happy Gilmore, Heavyweights, The Cable Guy, Meet the Parents, Meet the Fockers, Little Fockers, Flirting with Disaster, any chance she was in Flirting with Disaster? Well, I think we got to take one of these. Isn't it two left feet? My foot. My left... I don't think it's the story of Christy Brown, bro. The mask? Mask the Rocky Dennis story? 1990 to 2000. Daniel Day-Lewis? I'm not that familiar with the oeuvre. That's my problem. So we can obviously play like There Will Be Blood. Don't G-chat. You know what? I'm, I'm stupid. Play There Will Be Blood here. And then in the other spot, play The Last of the Mohicans. I was guilty of thinking that this is Kevin Costner, but that's Dances with Wolves. Okay. You would think this is the easiest one. I'm going to go Madagascar. I know Ben Stiller's in it. Oh. <laughs> it is the easiest. What is it? Oh, there's something about Mary! Oh, man. Stop messaging me on Gchat. 
I can't close the window because I have the deliverables window for the Final Fantasy stream open. I need you to stop messaging me. So probably all my friends who are at work are now in the Eastern time zone. So, well, they shouldn't even be done work. I guess if they were done work, they'd be too busy to shitpost. Mute the tab? Nah. Nah, it's not that kind of day. Too easy. Pitiful, a adjective meaning full mm. of pity, compassionate. Powder, a verb meaning to sprinkle or... Easy mode. Studied, a adjective meaning... Use a noun meaning the female of the sheep, especially when mature. You. Also, you is a noun that means the female of the sheep. In franchise, a verb meaning to set... Okay, next. Stop. <laughs> technician, a noun meaning a specialist... In Casserole, oh. a noun meaning a dish. I don't think I've ever had one of these. Denizen, a noun meaning. Oh, I typoed! I typed denizen. Mordant, an adjective meaning biting and caustic. In oh, no, I'm cooked, guys. Sentries, a noun meaning guard. <laughs> Mordant. Moppet, a noun meaning baby darling. Mop. <laughs> Isn't this what, like, a British person calls you when they're more mad than they've ever been in their entire life? Rugose. A adjective meaning full of wrinkles. Rugosus comes from Latin. Rugose. Stop. Oh, my God. Immoderate. An adjective meaning exceeding just you. It's cr What could they be yapping about? We, sometimes we go, like, ten months without a message in the chat, man. Dispensation. A noun meaning a... Coracle. A noun meaning a small boat used in Britain from ancient times. Oh, right, you, you know what? You, I'm muting the tab, man. I'm muting the tab. You did this to me. Let me see what's so important that they're talking about. Did you test drive the ionic? I'm showing out on politics, politics. Put it in one message, bro. It's getting crazy. I'm closing the tab. I closed the tab. There you go. I closed the tab. See results. Coracle. It's with an A. Mordant. Denizna. That we should have had 13 today, but it happens. It happens. People who send one message across multiple lines are the worst. Yeah, but when I do it, it's not illegal. Food guesser. These are potatoes. Lamb or mutton, Worcester sauce. What is Ireland? Very hot. United Kingdom. Lancashire hot pot. <laughs> Looks good, don't get me wrong. Looks tasty. I love potatoes, man. I got nothing against that. This is a crawfish boil. No, it is not. Dutch Malay spices. What is Indonesia? Ice cold. <laughs> Ice cold. All right. Um, traditionally cooked outside. How far away is ice cold, bro? Meat, onion, pumpkins, corn, potatoes. Ice cold? The United States of America? Ice cold. The United Kingdom of England? Ice cold. Is this possible? Uh, Georgia. Ice cold. South Africa? I guess it would make sense with the Dutch spices. Okay, okay. We got there. Also looks good. Tough one, though. First tough one I've ever seen. 
the heck is this? Celery, parsley, beef stew, meat. Beef stew, meat. Olives, celery, mint, lemon juice, dried mint, lemon juice, oil, and water. What is Iran? Okay. The man is off the Benjamin right now. Celery stew. I will say I appreciate it today. Three things that I had never heard of that I would definitely be stoked to eat. Average score today, 10,000. We clear that. Easy. It was three things that were corn in a pot. Well, like human beings, we're all made of the same infrastructure deep down, right? We all love boiled corn. Ray Romano and Bobby Cannavale. Ice Age 3. And Harvey Keitel. <laughs> uh, old Dads. No. The Duelist. Barry Linden. I have absolutely no idea. Paddleton. Skip me. Joe Pesci. The Irishman. The Irishman. It's a blind spot. It's a blind spot for me. They are old dads. It's true. Robert De Niro and Al Pacino are two of the oldest dads in human history. Sorry, I had to sneeze. We're so back. Wordles. Acted. We just did it. Cinematrix. Don Cheadle, MCU movie. Well, there's no way we're not using MCU for that. Benicio Del Toro, Tessa Thompson. Okay, Benicio Del Toro, 90% plus Rotten Tomatoes. This is Sicario. Huge, huge guess. Tessa Thompson, 90% plus. This is Creed. Or, let's go Creed. I think Creed's safe. That's tough. Don Cheadle, 90% plus. Probably be thinking like Hotel Rwanda. We take those. One word title, Crash. MCU movie, Iron Man 2. That was his first one. Maybe that's too clever. Maybe we should go with uh, Civil War. Get into the weeds a little bit. Try to lose him in the weeds. I can live with that. Benicio Del Toro, one word title. MCU movie. Ah, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, no, no. You know what? He's in Infinity War for five seconds. Oh, they still took it. <laughs> Benicio Del Toro. Traffic. Tessa Thompson, one word title. I guess I should have. Okay, okay. Thor, Ragnarok. Yeah, or Thor, maybe we go Thor, Love and Thunder. Just to lose him in the weeds a little bit. 
And then we go, uh, um, uh, creed two is probably two words. So we go annihilation, which is one word. And we're straight chilling. Top 7% of players today. Couple of most common guesses, but I'm not sure what else we could have done about that. Like, it's tough to come up with more, you know, movies that are 90% plus. It's easy enough to come up with good movies, but 90% is like, a, it's a high watermark to clear. So I was talking about Ocean's Eleven. <laughs> I was saying, how can Ocean's Eleven not be 90% plus on Rotten Tomatoes when I, it's the most likable movie ever made? Even if it's not your favorite movie of all time, it's not my favorite movie of all time, but I would always be down to watch it, bro. It's a frenetic piece of, of broad appeal filmmaking. It's very good. I'm not defending mid. It's probably like 89, okay? People think it's generic because it was definitive. I mean, if you weren't alive in 2001, you don't know what the world looked like before Ocean's Eleven and after, okay? It changed the game forever. Are you wearing a candy corn shirt? I think I have a fever, so I'm... I have a blanket. I'm cozied up with a blanket. I'm comfy maxing. We should probably slash marker and get ready for the, the stream, right, Kate? Slash marker dulls. I like how you picked the, the cute blanket. I thought about like taking the, the blanket that was actually thick, but even in my adult state, I'm still content maxing. I said I could take the blanket that actually has some insulation, but it's just kind of plain, or I could take the blanket that has pusheen on it and is literally like two micrometers thick and probably will provide no heat to me whatsoever, and I said, send it. We love Pusheen, don't we, folks? Don't we? Do we? I don't know. It still looks comfy. Looks can be deceiving. This is definitely not a blanket you would sleep in. It's one of those blankets where I'm like, I don't understand why they made it. It's like two and a half feet long. So uh, anybody over the age of five, like it won't cover their entire body. So you're like, what are, you, what are we doing with this? It's a gimmick. You need the feet covered. You're not wrong. Let's, let's see. I went through a lot of work last night in streamer terms to make sure everything was ready to go. This is the first time I've played the PS5 since uh, moving here, which we did in the last week of June 2023. I had to find all the cords I feel like I have no audio, though. Are you hearing that? I have no audio. Well, you know what? Hang on a second. There are two chords, and I had to find both of them, bro. El Goddess. It still works. But why don't I have sound? Because I've got it muted. Can you hear it? No? It says it's making noise. Anybody know what could be the problem there? You know, one thing you could do is you could turn this off 
close it, turn it back on. I feel like I hear something now. Oh, baby. They were cooking when they said, turn it off and turn it on again, huh? You just chill out on the doors today? Like, come on, man. Heavy breathing? I'm immune compromised today, bro. Like, call off the dogs. You're kicking a man while he's down. Hello. I would like to share my screen with my wife. If that's if that doesn't bother you. There you go. She's got it. Hey, Rex Mechanica, thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thanks for giving Prezzo uh, 12 months of gifted subscriptions. I'm in, I'm in the call. I'm in the call. What a cute blanket. Thank you. I need a glass thermometer, man. I don't know what she's going to do about her chair, though. She's got to carry a chair downstairs. Oh, hello? I'm not going to carry my chair. Are you crazy? Where are you going to sit? Somewhere else. Can oh, you share it, not that screen? Or is it going to go free? What's wrong with this screen? Uh, it has, like, <laughs> the side of the capture card, like, the menus and stuff. Really? Yeah. It, it should go away. Just give it one second. Give it one second. Do you go full screen? How's that? Hey, yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as I, like, touch anything else, it's going to go half screen again. Maybe, oh. maybe there's, like, uh, see? Maybe there's, like, um... A different it's okay, you're not gonna touch anything though. Probably, yeah. I have to touch things for a minute here though to get it set up. Oh. But I will start. How doing do that I now. how do I how do I capture uh, without I don't wanna I don't wanna see like the faces underneath. The the faces underneath? Yeah, in the call. Oh, I see. You can pop it out. There's a pop out button. Oh, hide members. Hide members. Oh, baby, now we rolling. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh man, the music. It hit ya. Doesn't it hit, doesn't it hit your soul? It hits my soul. Wait, are you staying up there or are you coming down here? I'm I'm going down. Okay, I well <laughs> go live first. Well, I didn't know. I asked you where you're gonna sit, you said where else? And I'm like, you know. On your lap, baby. I don't think my <laughs> my legs can handle it today. I'm just being honest. <laughs> when I went up the stairs, it was fine. When I came down, like my right hamstring was like, don't do this again. Okay, I'm going down. Like it kind of, it felt like my right hamstring was gonna like tear. Okay, well, while we're doing this, one moment, please. I have to get, this will probably screw up Kate's stream for a second here. Stream paused. Swap to your application to resume. Does this happen every time? I have a tweet 
What happened to my tweet, man? I had a tweet good to go, but I think I, I canned it when uh, I closed my Gchat window because my friends were talking too much about the Hyundai Ionic. Yeah, yeah, I'm comfy maxing right now. <laughs> okay. One moment, please. I am making a tweet. The tweet says, dot at Kate and I are playing final Fantasy 7 Rebirth over here. Were you in fist? I brought my chair. Hey, thank you. I just can't handle it today. I just can't even. Please come and watch us and check out the game here. Do I have your permission to copy your hashtags? You better, you better uh, pay me some money. I almost pasted the key for the game instead of the tracking link. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it won't work. Oh, man. Thanks to Square Enix for the sponsorship. I'd be careful touching stuff on my desk right now. I'm just looking out for you. Look at that. How's that for a, a sponsor? Well, that's, that's for your Twitch. Yeah, yeah, I've got it there. What, what did you use? You don't need to use it. It just shows up. It's, it, the, the email I got said make sure you use it. So I'm using okay. it. Okay. Do you want to play or do you want to commentate? I can do whatever. You should play, because okay. I think you're a better gamer, and I will commentate. Okay. But let's start with the, with a slash marker here, How okay? Is the controller, though? It's, I cleaned it with an a oh, antiseptic wipe okay. last night. And it should be charged. I guess, can you unplug it? I'm yeah. not familiar with this, this technology. There you go. Okay. Slash marker, Final Fantasy. I can't type. Final Fantasy... Seven Rebirth. We have a one of a kind sponsorship today. Thank you to Square Enix for the sponsorship. They said, "Hey, do you want to play some Final Fantasy VII Rebirth available exclusively on the PlayStation 5? I said, "Absolutely." They said, "We got a great idea for you. We're looking for Final Fantasy creators who have chemistry and a bond together." to mirror the system in the game that gives you synergies when you have two specific party members. They get bonus attacks and effects. I said, I know just the person. My wife has played, why don't, why don't you eyeball your Final Fantasy 14 or your Final Fantasy history in general? My Final Fantasy history is not that great though. Really? No. 14. Yeah. 10. 10. 10-2. 16. 16, currently playing. That's about it. Honestly. Okay. Well, it's an interesting one because I'm actually the nerd on this one. I played Final Fantasy VII. Uh, I have to be like so close to you, but I don't want to be that close to you. Yeah, I understand. You can just be in the center. I can't move over anymore because your okay. chair's all tilted. Okay. There you go. I am comfy maxing. We're, we, why don't we get it started here? This will probably make your stream look a lot better. Again, thank you to Square Enix for the sponsorship. Exclamation point... FF7R, you can get a link to check it out for yourself. Please do. Uh, the game speaks for itself as well. I think you probably are uh, aware of it and also the incredible critical response that it got when it came out earlier this year. Why don't you get us started and I will explain to you the story of Final Fantasy VII <laughs> as I know it, okay? I'm just trying to see if my, <laughs> if my side is... I understand, that's okay. Can you, can you ask? Long ago, hey, is anyone watching Kate's stream? Is Kate's stream looking half decent? Can you hear us? Yes. Yes, it's good. All right, fantastic. Okay. Long ago. <laughs> but I 
to hear the game sound. That's true. You do not get to hear the game sound. The music is divine, by the way. You have to... So Cloud Strife is a uh, a soldier of fortune with a fuzzy memory who has, he used to work for Shinra, a mega corporation located in the city of Midgar. Oh yeah, I play Final Fantasy VIII as well. Okay. I forgot to mention that. He has a large sword. Hang on, I think I didn't change my title or my game name. I'm actually like a bad streamer. <laughs> bad streamer. I'm actually a horrible streamer, I apologize. Final Fantasy VII Rebirth with, at Kate, lovely Momo. No, I'm just lovely Momo. That's true, now that I think about it. But we love her, folks, don't we? And then you gotta have the chatbot. FF7R. Probably change the game name to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth as well. There you go. There are many characters on the journey of Cloud Strife and his friends. Barrett is the leader of the Avalanche group seeking to take the Shinra Corporation down a peg. You will recognize him easily because attached to his hand is a gun. Tifa is also one of the members of Avalanche who owns the bar Seventh Heaven in the underbelly of Shinra. Eris is a flower girl with healing powers. So would you freak out if I change it to Japanese? I think it would be better if you kept it on English for me. <laughs> with Japanese subtitles. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want the story so far, or do you want... Is it, you know what? Why not give us the story so far? What if it takes an hour? Chat, do you know how long the story so far takes? The recap? 20 minutes? 5 minutes? 5 minutes, 5 minutes. Send okay. it. There is so much to tell. Man, the voice work <laughs> oh, is immaculate. There are also... Special features of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth that avail themselves when you're using the Sony DualSense controller on oh, the PlayStation you know what? Five. Oh, bring the splitter. What's what split? Oh, the headphone splitter. Yeah. But no, I don't. No, you can't. Why not? Because I don't have my audio hooked up like that. Yes, it is. No, I'm I'm not unplugging my cords in the middle of the stream. It's just not going to happen. Sure. You don't understand what I what I go through trying to make this work. Okay. I can raise the volume. Did for industry I cannot as hear Mako. it. You're gonna blow out your ears. Our world was dying. It's okay, you can so read. You could hear her cries from oh mercy. my god, you married to me. Don't you know I hate reading? <laughs> you know, honestly, why don't you why don't you take the headphones then? It's okay. Yeah, see. He thinks the lady's off protest too much. This is Cloud Strife. I know that. He's rising up to protect the world of Mako. That was uh, I, I think that was a uh, Jesse. That's Barrett, he has the gun for a hand. Ex-soldier hired by the resistance to destroy Reactor One. This is a boss you fight in the first mission. Sector eight. It's, it's also very important. Shinra is a uh, Midgar is a city where the rich people live on a she disc above the pollution, life. and then the less fortunate live under the disc in the in the literal underbelly. Reunion. How would you judge and her thus was destiny set in motion. I'm not answering that question. <laughs> With Reactor 1 gone, Avalanche set their sights on Mako Reactor 5. Unfortunately, they were playing That was, right uh, that was the big hands. thing, remember? Because in the, the company original, was able to draw the wool are, over the people's eyes. Like, pyramid? <laughs> You're thinking of Tomb Raider. This is a different situation here. Seven, <laughs> killing the thousands and laying the blame at Avalanche's feet. Though dear friends were lost, Avalanche had no time to grieve. No boys on Kate's stream. Aerith yeah. struck a deal. That means they can't hear us on your stream. Took her into custody. With her capture, at all, Shinra's obsession no. was within reach. I bet they can. The fabled Maybe promised no land. Sound. For Aerith was the last of the Setra. No sound the at all. Stewards of the planet. No sound and at all. And only she could guide them to paradise. To save her, There's the game sound, but no voice. The Shinra building, 
the company's beating heart. It was Red 13! Okay, this is Red 13. He's a cyber engineered uh, dog slash wolf whose uncle is Guggenheim. Yet during our flight, we came face to face with a man thought dead. Wait, Chad, you don't hear Hello. any game sound here? Hello. Or no, Orion? Sephiroth. Before he could be stopped, Cloud's foe fled with the corpse of Genova. Cataclysm is Ryan the saying anything? The yes. They're saying they hear everything, but, but that's because they don't fault. understand that they're... You're asking Ryan, about Ryan's history. muted! Tell Ryan to unmute himself! Because he muted himself, dude! Hello. I said everything... Hello. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I said this all right! It's because my delete key is attached to my uh, my mute key. Oy, oy, oy. So okay, I'll hold cool down now. Thank you, thank you. Whispers, the arbiters of fate descended upon the city. Before their imposing wall, Aerith warned us. This was Destiny's crossroads. He's got the two Kiraga in the sword, action, I can tell. Every step taken had all been as the whispers Thank you. Lose <laughs> to fight them was to break free. On the other side of fate, Sephiroth waited, the whispers undulating within him. The cloud okay, brought his Sephiroth? blade down upon his rival. <laughs> We're not gonna invite you to anything ever again. We're like less than ten minutes in, and you're like, you're in such a huge brand risk. Like, why are you, why are you torpedoing me? You're taking me down with you. It was there, beyond where fate could follow, that a new journey began. Okay, okay, okay. I have a good question. Which one is your favorite girl? I said it early today. Um, I've always been, uh, you know, Tifa versus Eris. I've always been on the side of uh, Tifa because I've always been more compelled by, by bossy girls than passive girls. Tifa? Yeah, Tifa. Mm -hmm. I don't think you have any, right? Um, you could probably just skip that. That's fine. I don't know if I got the Kupo survival <laughs> charm or anything like that. <laughs> Probably default. Oh, oh the exclusive dual sense controller <laughs> interaction is making the Nobuo Yuimatsu come out through the speaker. Let's go active. Oh, the controller is vibrating. I know crazy. this is like halfway through disc one of the original game. You do a motorcycle chase after you escape from the Shinra laboratory. Is that Vancouver? It does have a little, it's kind of like a Deadpool type vibe to it. Do you like Klaus? Uh, you know, I think I relate to him. I got a fuzzy memory sometimes, <laughs> and I'm very strong. <laughs> I'm waiting, Klaus. Oh, you got no hair. That is true. But when I first I played Final Fantasy. Seven, I had uh, as much hair as I've ever had. That's true. <laughs> buildings have been leveled, and part of the road has collapsed. The smoke rising from the rubble is reminiscent of a funeral pyre. All right, let's stick to the facts, buddy. I got a cameraman. This is only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the... It the fall of the Sector 7 plate culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through That's sector a lot of zero, pollution, one, dude. and two. That's kind of their thing. <laughs> After a briefing with pollution Shinra is their thing. That's Shinra's thing. ...released a statement declaring the tornado to be, quote, weather warfare perpetrated by the infamous insurgent group known as Avalanche. The administration oh. also suspects... I'll be taking the scenic route. If that's what the weather report says, you will not catch me driving over the bridge in a tornado. This is bad enough at 4 p.m. Chad, is this real? 
Shira <laughs> Corporation. Mm -hmm. Home of the infamous Dr. Hojo, nefarious laboratory administrator. Home of the Turks, Reno and Rude. He knows. I know a lot. I'm trying not to spoil, honestly, because I, I know so much about the game. I don't want to let something slip. I don't want to be like, tell me everything you know about Lucretia. Ooh. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I say that? Oh, man. Oh, the new heads don't know about Lucretia, huh? Holy cow, this is actually a big moment. This must be the first reveal of Zack. Chad, am I correct on this? If you have to pick one, would you pick Zack or Cloud? You pick uh, Cloud. Zack is, uh, he's a non-playable character. No! Like a character, like a buddy. A buddy? Um, probably Zack. Cloud is kind of a little of needy. He's, he's got a compromised immune system, much like myself, as a result of the Mako poisonings. The wreckage of the expressway. Search and rescue operations are already in progress. Yo, they got a robotic arm. It's kind of sick, honestly. Instead of a little and scooper. With a buster sword. Highly dangerous. That's us. That's Cloud Strife. Armed with a buster sword. Highly dangerous. Especially because at this point in the game, I believe we have Omni Slash. Back over here. Get him on board. They got Barrett! Antifa! <laughs> And Red 13! They got Red 13! They got Aeris! We're, we're not even gonna have a, a party after this. It's okay, we have Zach. It's just gonna be me. <laughs> it's gonna be Cloud Strife and Zach and Yuffie, bro. Or Kate Sith. Is Kate Sith in this game? Look, I don't know, but Kate is here. Kate is here. So true. You ever considered dressing like that? Excuse me. Too many buttons. I get it. Dude said straight up. Smallest girl here, can you hold on to my muscle-bound friend, please? <laughs> can you just post him up against a wall or something like that? Like, she's... That's gonna ruin her day. Uh-oh. Cat is angry. Red 13 doesn't give an F. He's kind of got, like, a self-destructive streak because he sort of thinks that he shouldn't exist because he was um, modified in a laboratory. Look at me. I got the sword. Oh, chuck, oh, chuck, oh, oh, she's doing chuck. it. She's doing it. I advise you to go over the staircase. Whoa, oh, <laughs> easy there, badass. <laughs> Holy, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> hmm. I mean, there's just no need for that. You went out of your way for that one. Maybe there was item. I don't yeah, know. That's true. That's Let's true. It, it takes a second for your eyes to adjust. This yellow barrel mm. sus item. Smack him with your sword. I don't think no, I can. okay. I can only run. Grab the marshmallow. Grab the marshmallow. Cam is blocking the dialogue. They're just saying that if they catch us, they're going to make uh, our life not be good anymore. Don't worry about that so much. Look at the graphic. Look at the rocks. Isn't that amazing? It's a great looking game. 
every time I play PlayStation 5, I'm like, this console actually looks next gen. And then when I stop playing PlayStation 5, I go back to playing browser based puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> Built in jQuery. Oh, whoa, whoa, those not friendly, not friendly. Well, I gotta fight him. It's true. Get away from her. He's got a Buster Sword. Burn. Ah, ah. It's okay. It only does more damage. I'm gonna go ahead and say these guys probably didn't graduate top of their class. They're using flamethrowers. Mm. Huge. Your combo charge is done. You can press triangle to execute it. She knows. She knows. I know what I'll do. I'll hit them with my sword. Oh, no, 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 no. Baseball mode? What do you think? Uh... <laughs> All right, never mind. Oh, boy. Wait, wouldn't everyone who's on that thing die? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not a good guy. But you can't make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Every instrument of the Shinra Corporation is a bad guy. That's why they're flamethrowing each other, too. <laughs> Smoked. Nice little cinematic transition there. So I don't know what this is like. I mean, it's not my domain. How much work would it take to keep your hair looking like that on a daily basis? <laughs> it's got to be like 90 minutes plus, right? That's, that's nobody's domain. Unless you're a fictional character. I saw a guy looking like that at the airport when we were there at like 11 p.m. And I was like, he just wants it more than, than anybody else, honestly. So it's important to note, Aerith is an agent of the Setna, the uh, ancient priesthood tasked with maintaining stewardship of the planet Mako, the planet that this game takes place on. You didn't say the oh, important part. <laughs> she uh, can grow flowers back, with her magical back, powers. Back. <laughs> That's it? That's all I'm saying. No, she's dead! No, no, she's dead. Don't even worry about that. That's holy. It's one of the most powerful materia in the game. Wait, for real? Yeah, bro, it's holy. That's what I want to be like right now. Would you hold me while I, while I slept like that? That's how I feel. <laughs> what would I do? What else would I do? I don't know. I do? You could use your phone with the other hand. <laughs> All right, then. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. Look at the leaves. Mm -hmm. It's like real leaves. Me? Yeah. No problem. Me when we get sushi and they have that green plastic part inside. It started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then. And the little there was. You was cloud of the week. Well, there's two separate timelines, I'm being told, that take place in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I couldn't believe my So this is past? Or is it future? Mm. Or is it is it parallel? <laughs> or is it Hemomancer? Really Hemomancer. Hmm. Hmm. An avalanche Fixie. soldier. Hmm. Hey, Genova. Hmm. I'm good. A golden chocobo. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. That's basically you whenever I'm motion sick. Wish I could help, but skill difference. Yeah. I got an inner ear that actually works. <laughs> they should really put a seatbelt on. I mean, are you seeing this? He's going Saitama mode. <laughs> Why is it working out, man? So that's Sephiroth. Sephiroth is the platoon leader for this... Uh, Shinra soldier group. Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission. 
He uses a long sword called Masamune. Because if it's another one of those Turks, I fought that guy many times before. In the Kingdom Hearts uh, arena, no doubt. Finally make first. What do they do? And also the PSP game. No, okay, okay. I didn't join soldiers. How does he know? People think I don't know about Final Fantasy VII. The guy wasn't pouring over the logs in 1997, 1998. Do you ever wonder, does he really have to have a naked chest? I mean, straight up, if I'm like a high ranking military officer, it's t shirt and shorts from that point on. <laughs> this just seems like too much. How about, how about 12 belts? <laughs> well, there's been times when it would help, but. <laughs> You think I know nothing about Final Fantasy VII, but I think I know enough. Yeah? Yeah. What's the significance of Nibelheim? Well, I know what's happening here. Holy cow, she's right. Oh, they, they're right, there's two fiends here. It kind of looks like Tomo. En route to uh, Nibelheim in the original PlayStation 1 game, you had to pass through a cave that was the hardest thing I had ever done in video oh, games up to that point. Why is his sword too long? So that's Masamune. Show some respect. <laughs> Don't you agree his sword is too long? It's unwieldy. Doesn't that look like angry Tomo? I could see that. Where is the way food? Tomo when I try to pet him after he meows, so I pet him. I haven't pulled for a week. <laughs> oh! This Gorgon is going Pierce. down, man. She knows. I'm just piercing you. Ah! Like, that's one thing about Sephiroth. He is, like, quite dramatic. He probably <laughs> didn't need to do all that. <laughs> but we love him for it, don't we, folks? We love him for it. If you can be, would you rather be a Cloud or Zack or Sephiroth? I think I would rather be uh, Zack. Sephiroth is just doing too much. Wait, wait till you get a little deeper in the game and he starts... It's like he's carrying around some, some heavy equipment for a long, long time. And it's not like a briefcase. Like, it's unwieldy. It all started in the fall. He's going to the ends of the earth. He's, he's living in caves made of ice and stuff like that. It's not just me. I was just making sure that my wife is behaving. What are you talking about? <laughs> ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. The best they had. <laughs> this is Nibelheim. It, inside of this town is a, as you can see right there, there is like a, a castle. I guess it's a refinery. As a child, I always thought it was a castle. Like a mansion. And in the basement, oh, what horrors await in the basement. <laughs> or what pleasures. Tell me, hmm. how does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got <laughs> right? He's so extra, right? A mother. I, I'm not reading. <laughs> she died shortly after I was born. Yeah, girl doesn't My read father. in video games. Oh, there. Genova? Like from the Shinra building? It's true. Yeah. Don't worry. I'm getting you back. Basically, his mom is uh, an alien, <laughs> is what he's getting at. <laughs> Which explains maybe why he's a little corked up. Let's go. He has a mommy issue. Mm -hmm. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I, I like to the star. It's very, <laughs> Welcome you very shiny. Town. Please, if you'll follow me. He looks like half the people on the Disney cruise. <laughs> I was about to say, Consider he looks like your like D&D character. Yeah. <laughs> Guy who wears a cowboy hat on semi-formal night. Yeah. 
Do you ever read any of these? Yeah, yeah. I need the help, though. Oh. But they, I read them. They just don't stick in my brain. Do so, you, like, right after, I have to ask chat, like, what did that say? I do, I do roll a lot. I'll be honest. Damn, did you see her gone? Holy. Yo, careful where you point that thing. Sephiroth is with us, and he's a little touchy. We should mention as we get going, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, available now on PlayStation 5. Once we get into the party system, you'll see, just like Kate and I, uh, together, we have a little bit of a synergy. So can party members uniquely in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Check it out for yourself with exclamation point FF7R. Oh, what's you going on here? With everyone? Just for a bit. He, he loves doing squats. This is a mini game to see if you can do as many squats as the, the town strongman. If you're feeling a bit tense, what? use this time to stretch. That's not true. Between weak mind. Nobody wants to start. Nobody wants They're to all start. tired. They, they got too much lactic acid. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm not doing the zanga. Here, press X. Maybe you have commands. Hit them with the meteor real quick. Oh, cure. Figures. I cannot cure nobody. <laughs> Can't cast a meteor anymore. It's too much paperwork. Yo, did you see the wrinkly hands? Mm. Look at that. You should leave her alone. She's old. <laughs> what, do you, what do you want from her? <laughs> oh my gosh. Dude, it's Ragdoll. You see, it's like Ruka. It is. Per ugly. What's the significance of the cats? Mm, I think they're cute. No, in this game. I think that's the significance. Regular cats, I don't know. Cat Sith, there's a lot. He's, he might be the only person in the game more quirked up than Sephiroth, to be honest with you. I have cats that sit. Really? Tall. Yeah. He's a full-sized Moogle. He's not a Moogle. Mm -hmm. Isn't he? He's a cat. He's a Moogle. My dad died when I was a kid. How is he a Moogle? In 1997, he was a Moogle. She was on her own. Oh, he rides a Moogle. Whatever. He's a cat. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Moogle Sith. Mother. Is that you? The mom looks too hot. Welcome home. I'm not touching that. <laughs> get a good look at you. <laughs> my my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. Buddy, come on. <laughs> Women must be hounding you day and night. Mom. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. Me after I come home from uh, winter break, twenty pounds heavier than I left in my first year of university. But the girls must be all over you. Not really, mom. <laughs> Playing a lot of Super Smash Brothers sixty four with the lads though. He is going EP mode. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know Eyes up here. <laughs> Eyes up here, Cloud. Eyes up here. You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. Your controller is vibrant crazy. Yeah, that's that dual sense haptic feedback. <laughs> He can't go back into his house though, because they turned it into an Airbnb. <laughs> you moved out. They got two people from San Jose in there right now. Oh, this way. Yo, she's a pro. Look at that map work. Is it here? This destination, I missed the destination. <laughs> I'm just exploring. You just got you gotta explore oh, there you Nibelheim. Go. Goodness. Is that you, Cloud? 
There you go. The Nidhogg Hotel. Who's this? Who's this? Who's this? That looks like it could be a, a Sid. This looks like a Sid, bro. A soldier. And you are? Richard Zongan. Yeah, no. I knew it. <laughs> Richard Zongan. <laughs> I don't believe that Richard Zongan is in the original game, or maybe I've I've erased him from my memory. <laughs> Do you not remember Sid? Sid's got the he's got an eye patch, man. What the hell? <laughs> well done, but lacking mass. Bro, those are my obliques. <laughs> Who asked you? Oh, is this in the in the original game? Do you go to this guy's dojo and you have to beat his mini games in order to progress? Don't be shy. I have many pupils here. You go to his boxing gym or something? Nope, not at all. Okay, never mind. Never mind. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Would you like to have a have a cape like that? I think I would get it. Isn't that a too dirty. Hazard? Yeah, I don't like I don't like stuff around my neck. I think you're, you're gonna definitely go get choked. Yeah, I think I'll choke and die probably. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. We're not gonna fight here, right? He's, does he look like a final boss? He's chilling. Oh man, how how did you not make a comment about his pants? No. <laughs> <laughs> he, he got some. He does need a diaper change, yeah. that's for sure. <laughs> that's like a week old. <laughs> <laughs> we have a child. Well, that one spot is pretty clean. So, what do you think of our film? What are they what are they saying? I'm eager to talk to him too, but now's not the time. Do you think he's hiding something behind? A Sephiroth, bro. Sephiroth's in the monastery. Let Sephiroth discuss the matter with Don't the mayor in private. Nosy. Where, where else? Hmm. Hmm. A quest marker. A Chiron. Is there anything here? You just can get on someone's roof. Little slice of life. Just enjoy yourself. On someone's roof. <gasps> oh my God! There's a chest. Materia. No, it won't go down. <laughs> <laughs> he was like, "Whoa!" Chicken, chicken, chicken. Here we go. Knights of the Round Table, Materia, please. A Yo, mega potion. Mega potion pretty it seems pretty good if you get hit. If you get hit. Hey, Which I'd never get hit. Yeah, what's not gonna happen? It's a good thing. Where else? Let's go take a look. Enjoy enjoy the town a little bit. A little slice of life. What life is like in Nibelheim. <laughs> Maybe you could check out the house around the windmill, apropos of nothing at all. I've been told that maybe that house is interesting. Which one? <laughs> oh, there you go. Good to see you. How about a taste of home? She's gonna give me a taste of home. Oh! <laughs> Ninety-seven year old sandwich shop still makes sandwiches the old-fashioned way. Did you see how thick that was? That looked like a good sandwich. I just ate the that. The taste reminds you of home. Can you imagine your home food is sandwich? Yeah, it would be like the way my life is right now. <laughs> oh! Look at this. So, how did it feel being back up there? I don't do well with heights. They should really put like a barricade or something on the outside. I guess after two years away, you know that. Kingston got that kind of stuff. Oh. Yeah, it's true. The water tower. This feels good to be like ten feet above the populace, gazing out on the on the city. Uh oh, he's gonna fall. Look 
the texture of his cloth, like the clothing. It looks amazing. Like, it looks like he's wearing the turtleneck, the infamous turtleneck. The infamous, the Steve Jobs turtleneck? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, that would it would break his tailbone there. Huh? Eric. Went to my place. I figured you might be there. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but it's not like we hung out that much. We had our reasons. <laughs> Holy cow, what are they doing? She got a package of cocaine and Tifa, Tifa, what's going on at your house? <laughs> What's she doing? What's she smoking? Oh, dog food. Remember my cat? Cat food. Her name was Fluffy, I think. Yeah. She was always disappearing. Well, Holy cow, the sausage. Disappear. Is that okay? <laughs> I think as long as you eat them in like a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> Chow down. <laughs> Hope they got their dehumidifier on. <laughs> The house is huge. If you're gonna live in a butcher shop, I'm gonna treat you like a piece of meat. Hello. What is this room? That's called a home telephone. I know it's a little bit after or before your time. That's how we used to have to order our pizzas. Yo, bottle of ether. Bottle of ether that restores MP. You straight up yoinked her ether, bro. <laughs> you went into my room? Okay, hang on, hang on. Cloud, what are you doing here? My stuff? She's getting mad, Kate, she's getting mad. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta see what size. Cloud. She's pretty upset. Asshole. Yeah. They're they're going off on him. But girls like bad boys, so like Oh, you know, maybe it's okay. You know what that is? It's a Moogle. You passed. <laughs> I could have said, oh, there it is. Inspect pianos to start tickling the ivories and perform pieces using sheet music you've acquired. I know Tifa's theme. Did you actually play maybe it? Maybe you can sing it. Na, 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 na. Na, 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 Something like that. This is the dorkiest thing about me. I used to play that as my warm-up for clarinet. In uh, music class. <laughs> oh my god. It's a uh, real piano. She's really tearing it up. <laughs> She's got that left hand only drip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, I could go minor. Oh. Semi tone. She's Chopin posting. Monotone. Chords. How would you rate my. Um, Performance. I say about a seven out of nine. <laughs> <laughs> wow, where'd you learn to do that? She really where said, you? "Where'd you learn how to do that?" <laughs> Just leave the open. Door wide Steal open. the ether, leave the door wide. Oh my god. <laughs> did I just murder? I don't know what you did, but people are very upset. I think I might have murdered a child just now. <laughs> Is it Sephiroth, Sephiroth, save our village from the fiends? <laughs> oh, it's too strong. Oh no. This is not the house. No, no, no. You gotta go to the inn. That's what I'm trying to get to. Mm. That, that gotta be it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. That's where I'm trying to go. It's kind of intimidating. Like, so many people are blocking the door. I know. Oh, the, the poopy pants. He's gone. 
Welcome back. Sephiroth has already gone upstairs. Wow, he did not wait for me. Nosy. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. Oh no. <laughs> what are you looking at? Bro's gonna be like the scars of this planet. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. That's a little scary. Yeah. You should get some rest. He's got the Power Rangers badge on All his right. belt too. I'll do. I think if you click it together, it summons Megazord. <laughs> Do you think he, he combs his hair like? He's got to, he right? He's, I mean, he, it's it's high maintenance, but you got to do what you got to do. I can't even maintain my short hair. I hear you. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. I was too excited, too nervous. Charizard it was pretty much the same for me. Why? Was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. The Never next morning. Hmm. Forthwith. Bro slept through his alarm. We leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. Holy! I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter is Dad. Tifa, you can still Yo, back cutie. She is, she is dripped she out, bro. There'll be two Does she go? Uh, hey, howdy, hey. <laughs> Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa, you're our guide. I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not. That's what the armor is for. Job, she won't. Come on. You can't hear me. They added a little wrinkle when the cowgirl outfit came out. They added like a banjo into the into the theme. Not today. Get on, get on, get on, get on. Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. She feels so tiny. Compared to Sephiroth? Sephiroth is like 7 too. What's that? 175 centimeters no. tall. <laughs> it's gotta be like 198 or something, right? Thanks. Say cheese! Sounds like you were having a good time. Does he really have to pose yeah. for a picture like that? <laughs> <laughs> I guess we the reactor was halfway up Mount Nebo. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Here we go. Sprinting! Very important. Can you square to attack? Wow. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wow. Sephiroth's right there! Eat this! You should actually Eat take that. him out right now. He's only gonna get stronger. My sword just goes through him. He's too strong. Like this. He has yeah. the power of, of Mako coursing through his veins. Like oh, the, the credits roll. Oh, oh, I do like a, a credit scroll during a gameplay segment. Would also like to say thank you again to Square Enix for the sponsorship. This is obviously Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, critically acclaimed PlayStation 5 exclusive game. My wife is playing, and I am making pithy comments over top right now. Exclamation point FF7R. There's a link there. You can click it. You can check it out for yourself. Click my link. Man, I wish you could also click Kate's link in her chat like you if you're guys. interested. Trips. I think you mean business trips, which are no fun at all. Though you do learn stuff on them. That's so cool. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. All right. It's a menacing landscape, honestly. You don't look at stuff like that? When you I, play the game? When I play games, I would be rolling 100% here. 
I would be passing Tifa, and then I would be waiting for her to catch up. See, now you're getting it. Holy cow, he's zooming! The controller gave me like, uh, uh, said you can't do that anymore. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta let her win. I understand. What's this? Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. I we're thought it was a cool flip. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Dude, look at it. Look at the rocks. You'll burn Gorgeous. Like are you seeing the I'm rocks? Look at it. Look at that. that. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes, you really are the best there is. I mean, I had to say, like, her cardiovascular strength is really high. <laughs> Considering the boots, like, she's she's really humming up this mountain. Dad, boots? Hey, what's the name of the mountain? Look. It's Mount Nebel. <laughs> you look! I didn't look! I know it! I know it! Excuse me, you missed a piece of loot back there? I did? Where? Oh, maybe you picked it up. <laughs> what a troll! <laughs> Do you think Sephiroth is the guy who would actually min mix? Mm, yes. Yes, I do. Seen those near the village, and they're not nice. What do you think? A little I aggressive. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Yippee! Fighting as Cloud. Okay. Attack, hold the button, allow you to follow up with a sweeping slash. Press the button after dodging to land a range attack. Okay. I got it, easy. You see how you dodge? I was worried that you were in trouble, but you really do got it. You're done. I mean, you just earned me a trophy. Let's finish this. I just, I just... Didn't even get hit. You actually seem awesome. like better at it than than Sephiroth was. <laughs> if this is how it's going to be. There doesn't seem much point in me fighting. I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. He really said double it and give it to the next guy, huh? Happy trails. What is that? Enemies will grow alerted as you get. She said, I don't need all that. I see something and I kill it. <laughs> Holy cow. One? I mean, triple slash would go crazy here. Probably with, yeah, I was going to say B, but I'm sure A is okay too. True, she's so golden saucer pills. What is that? Whoa. Whoa! It's a it's a pipe of pure Mako energy. What's Mako energy? It's a natural resource. Holy cow. Used to uh, produce electricity that can also have psychotropic effects on people who get too close to it. Why don't they just, uh, just burn watch. coal? I think Mako is coal. Lock. Nope. Thank God you got that uh, mega potion. Excuse me? <coughs> it's, it's doing range attack. <laughs> I think they're punishing you for being so good on the early section. Otherwise, Sephiroth would get up there and like murk it with the uh, twin magnums. Huge, huge. You're done. Gotta say, that one felt pretty good. I thought Mako would be like natural gas. Mm. What is Tifa doing? <laughs> what you doing, girl? She ran all the way here. Oh, because she's scared of this guy. Oh. All yours. You know 
He, he said the S word. This game's got some mature content. Me at age 13 when Sephiroth says the S word? <clears throat> After he murders 15 people in cold blood? Braver on the Velocity for sure. Let's go. Oh no. They brought the whole family. Oh no. NAA. Ah. I'll be honest with you, I don't really know what the other Shinra soldiers are there for. Well, Meat shield. <laughs> Probably to make sure that like, bring Sephiroth his lunch. She's using the active time battle system. Simultaneous, possible real time combat. How does the multiplayer work? The better gamer takes the controller and uh, the other person riffs over top. Punisher mode. Hey, BD Mata, thanks for the gifted subscription. Let's Thank you. Fire. fire. Mm. Holy cow. <laughs> <laughs> we pick up the pace? Not unless we absolutely have to. <laughs> Little overkill, I like Take it. it <laughs> How about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. <laughs> Yo. You better. He's cool. squat maxing. See at the reactor. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Yo, it's the power stone. Yes, materia is very important. She said, don't worry about all that. Let me fight. Mm -hmm. You're not even going to slot it into the two slots on your buster sword? I thought my sword was already... Well, it has two materia in it, but you could take one of them out and give yourself access to a greater amount of active time battle effects and spells. But I'm locked. Well, you have... Uh, Spots in your bracer where you could place. I'm, I'm locked, man. Oh, okay. Ne never mind. Never mind. Mm, never mind. She doesn't know. Press the triangle button. I oh, did press the triangle button. Oh. Yeah. Oh my god. In Punisher mode, Cloud moves more slowly, but can unleash a more powerful attack than usual. Holy. Oh. I mean, she's she's kind of insane. Insane, insane, dude. You're done. Well, that's that. Huge. Where'd they go? Friend? What the heck? They're making out! Feels bad, man. Feels bad, man. <clears throat> are they gonna come over? Or am I just gonna go by myself? When you invite the girl you've had a crush on for 10 years to come out with you, and then your friend asks if he can come too, and you're like, sure, no problem. And then they have an immediate <gasps> natural chemistry, and you're like, what the heck, man? What? That's not how it's supposed to be. Is that the real life? Yeah. It's just, you know, it's one of those things that makes... Uh, ah! It makes life interesting. Any help? She loves that triple slash, bro. Braver called. It's crying. Oh no! Oh, oh, oh! Huge. Yeah. Oh. Oh, 
I'm staggered as well by the adeptness of your combat. Piece of cake. Thank you. Um, my health is not doing so good. Really? Yeah. No, you're not. I mean, you have 1,300 health points. That doesn't seem too bad. There you go. Good thing you swiped that ether from her house. <laughs> I'm sure tonight she won't be like, don't worry, guys. I saved some ether to cook us dinner. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Another mega potion. Yoink. Hi, potion. You know what? I think there is going to be a tutorial boss soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guaranteed. When the game gives you mm. so many potions. Top post on r slash gaming. Mm, I think there's a boss fight around here. The ground is littered with... Bridge Light down. pips. You gotta jump, buddy. It's a leap of faith. He won't jump. Do I have to go all the way back? Mm, I don't know. Maybe you could talk to Tifa. It's a dead end. Rock slide took out the bridge away. Well, maybe you should be leading then, go lady. Back, okay? Okay. Yeah. Oh. Mega potion. High potion, mega potion. Yeah, girl. Uh, oh. Gotta squeeze in. Mm, yeah, go second. What? <laughs> <laughs> what do you make it sound mm. like that? Just so you can go back out if it gets too, uh, if it gets too congested. Did it sound like that? You would not catch me doing that. What the heck is already he, here? He teleported. He he rode on Ultima Weapon to get over the gap. Otherwise, you'd have let us straight off the cliff. Lead on. Yes. You were first drinking water here. He's stoked that the whole family's together. <laughs> New routes. He's hacking. He has. He's good too. What is it that he cannot do? Well, there are too many high potions. You're about to fight a scorpion, guaranteed. Ooh. Oh. Orb level of boost materia. Yoink. She really comes in to the reactor with you, huh? But you know what? She can handle herself. Yeah, she kicked the monster. She kicked the monster. She's she can do multiple combos. Could that be? Watch out for this guy. This is a, a classic hard boss. Is that a pun intended? It's a screamer. Oh shit! Oh, did you see that, Ryan? <laughs> did you see that? Huge parry. Did you see that? She is going off. Staggered 160%. It's the perfect opportunity. Hit him with another one. How about a focus thrust? Oh, you're out, you're out of AP. Thanks oh for your help. Oh my god, I did it again, Ryan! I did it again! Did you yeah. see Terry? Listen, fighting the birds, it was very good, by the way. I did it again! <laughs> fighting the birds is one thing, but Sephiroth is really just hanging back letting you tank this dude. It seems like bad standard operating procedure. That's that. Was that supposed to be hard? <laughs> Or 
Are you guys impressed? Are you guys impressed? <laughs> no problem, guys. I got it. Rock. So true. The reactor may have been around for a while. Oh no! Pockets of Mako gas all over the Rebreathing the green, green molecule. Don't, Don't breathe in too much. Or do. Or do. Elevator access restricted due to Mako gas elevator. concentrations. Air purification unit must be employed to clear mm. okay, it's a puzzle. Gas. You want me to take over? Where, where do you think? Mm. Search for the way of the gap. Hey Brian, thank you for the gifted subscriptions as well. Thank you. I believe you have to. There you go. That's what the air filter sounds like after I fart. Is it the vacuum cleaner? It is. Can I just say, <laughs> I woke up last night because I think you farted in the, in the sleep. That sounds like me. And I said, oh, <laughs> What does that smell? Look at that. Don't worry, guys. I got it. I'll hit the button. I'm the elevator boy. <laughs> I'm an elevator boy. Wait, this guy's behind the monitor. He's gonna mess with the cords. Another high potion. Who do you think you are? Unnecessary. He knows. He knows. Mm -hmm. Is it boss time? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know yet. Little bros never felt rain before. His name is Cloud. <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> that is a very good point. I'm sure you felt rain before. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. Whoa! I could all run, but she's <laughs> running. Uh, hey, hey, don't, don't shake the bridge, man. It's too scary. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's not good. That is pretty bad. Tifa, are you okay? Not really. <laughs> Not anything. His sword probably weighs like a hundred kilograms. Like, dude is he's sweating it right now. <laughs> yeah, I heard that too. Walk out of commander just doesn't say anything and just go ye. He did say time to die. Well, he's only got two arms, okay? Oh, well. Hey, oh. Uh-oh. Honestly, why don't he just... He might be up? okay, yeah. All they gotta do is just stand up. Didn't seem like there was a cliff or anything like that it's coming up. It's just shallow water. <laughs> what happened to the other soldier? Oh, he's toast. No, the oh no, the other one's there. He's in fate's hands now. <laughs> Sephiroth, people died. Do you know the way? <laughs> yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? So 
sorry. I, I don't think I can. I see. This is so scary. Well, red three eyes. Yeah, uh, Sam brown. Fisher. Sam Fisher came with us. Safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. Oh, mm. you kidding? Dude, it's the yellow paint. Good luck. Send it. I can tell you exactly where to go. Yes. She really said I ain't worried about all that. <laughs> Probably doesn't follow the yellow paint. Oh, purple? Purpy? Purpy? First, we sit down. Mm -hmm. Sensible. And then purpy? Excuse me? Did she even get it? I did. Switching characters. <laughs> now I gotta try. Ah, bah, bah. Is there a meteor? Holy! Blizzard. Yeah, don't use thunder. We still. We just went through that. <laughs> what, what just happened? Oh. You, you just won. That's what happened. Changing party leaders. Whoa, look at the cave. It's like the Avatar ride at uh, yeah. Animal Kingdom. More Mako gas ahead. There's no way around it either. You just have to go through. I'm quiet. I'm quiet. Let's not waste any time. You like this? Marco, this Why? is dangerous. She's good. She's, she knows what she's doing. Here. Oh. Ah. I'm glad you're playing. I don't think I could have made it through the piano minigame. Not to mention uh, looking in Tifa's closet without her permission. What's wrong with that? She's my friend. <laughs> oh. Wait, did I pick... Did I not pick up the... I think there's a chance you didn't. I mean, purple. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Gotta go back. Gotta go back, 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 back. She is back in the New York groove, Billy Joel. Oh my gosh. Yoink. Ooh, HP up materia. That's huge. For people who get hit. Well, well, I did get hit. It's, it's, it's too dark. It's non climbable. There's no paint. Oh, it's not this way. Medium rare? <laughs> How does a cat order his steak? Oh. <laughs> Wait, that's your original? Yep, I made it up. And by made it up, I mean I stole it from Chibli, who I think probably stole it from TikTok. A Mako Spring. It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, Springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Yeah, but like not for a bit. Dead. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this. It must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does Materia let you cast spells exactly? <laughs> how did you ever get to be a soldier? <laughs> what a simple question we all know the answer to. To put it simply, it's just, uh, the just knowledge do it of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? 
Here's a video essay on it Magic you can watch. Sure is weird. Man, this guy is so weird. Patronizing. He's definitely the... Hmm. Materia, you say. Hmm. Hojo, from Research and Development. His predecessor was a great man, but him... He is anything but... We should press I want to fight the tutorial boss. Hmm. I think after one more encounter, we should should call it. I'll send you on your way. Gotta get back. Gotta get back. Oh, I gotta go back? The mission continues. Look, it's, it says go... Oh, no, never mind. You know what? Look at that. Holy! We don't even know where it is. We actually don't. Oh, he wouldn't... Mm -hmm. Free materia. He wouldn't go there. Oh, but you know? When in doubt, follow the enemies. Cloud just died! Hey now, in Lunchables, are you a cheese on top of the meat guy or a meat on top of the cheese guy? I'm a cheese on top of the meat guy. In in all possible uh, situations. Keep up and up. Try R3. It's terrain action. Oh! It's circle, it's circle. Hmm, is it though? Yeah, it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> so it is. Holy. He's bouncing on it. Is there any skill that you want me to use? Honestly, you're doing a great job. Maybe, Hell's, maybe Gate. Hell's Gate? On the twin brain? That seems pretty good. Oh, we're getting zapped! <laughs> Way. Bossy. You know who sang that song? Uh, Les Seraphim. No, it's JYP. JYP, okay. Ask me another one. Oh! Whoa! Scared me, man. Mm -hmm. I want to dash, I want to dash. I know that one, that's N Mix. Yeah, oh! There's two. I'd just like to alert you to the fact that Cloud Strife is about to pass away. What do you mean? He's fine. He has no health? What do you mean? Oh, never mind, his limit break is far away from being charged. Never mind, never mind. <laughs> My mistake. I thought he was in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Holy backseating. <laughs> what is type A? Type A is chatters who only talk about game mechanics. Oh. And you thought that was me. Holy, look at the strength. You think you could do that? Oh! Holy, what the heck? There was a shortcut? Materia. Oh, look at this. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? It's where you fight Orphan of Kos. Not Leviathan? Oh, she knows. She knows. <laughs> what is it? They went with the swiftness. Uh-oh, that's a boss arena. 
Zoo! It's a synergy skill. Just like we have synergies in our banter. When guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of synergy skills, useful abilities that do not consume ATB. Press, you know the button, while guarding to view descriptions of these skills. You gotta try. You gotta try. There you go, you did it. Did I? You did the dual blade I dance. Come on. I thought it was a dual blade. You know what? I bet this guy real weak against Yeah, yeah, so true. Staggered. You put them in a staggered state. Or pressured state. I'm in a lot of trouble now. Oh. Holy cow. So many. You do have a lot of mega potions. He's, he really do be zooming. I mean, it might be for the best for the world if Sephiroth perishes at the hands of the zoo. Just throwing that out there. Holy! Ah! ah! <laughs> Don't worry. I did not die. So close. Enormous. He's, he's so oh, toasted. Oh, oh, limit. Octo slash. Amazing job. I'm glad we got to show off a little bit of the synergy mechanics as we come to the end of the uh, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth sponsored segment of the stream. Thank you for joining me, Kate. You're very welcome. Thank you to uh, Square Enix for the sponsorship, of course. Make sure to check out the game for yourself. Exclamation point FF7R in my chat. You'll get a link that can take you to the, uh, the relevant information. Check out, check out my link on my stream as well. And I will send them over to you. Here Thank you. Bye-bye. Ugh. Oh, now I will go up. Okay. I will send them over right away. Oh, okay. Thanks for watching today, everybody. I'm going to go take a little nap. <laughs> I will see you tomorrow, unless I'm too sick. In which case, maybe I'll, I'll take tomorrow off to get some rest. Let me make sure I send the raid here. <clears throat> I will see you uh, when I see you. Later.